Hello everyone, welcome, 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 welcome. How are we? Hope you're all well. It's, uh, what is it now? It's Thursday. It's been a long week, obviously. Sorry for not being around yesterday, because of course, yesterday I ended up with a gig, um, which was a, bit, a little bit, a little bit, um, last minute to be honest so i wasn't really expecting to be gigging so of course it was a bit of a surprise when uh, i got the official call up to go and do the show there was a possibility of it on on a on on tuesday night so we sort of gave a bit of a heads up to those of us who are watching obviously on on twitch on tuesday so kind of not a massive surprise but still it's always it's always nice to be asked isn't it you know to go and do the show so went and did that which was good and uh basically uh that means that tonight we are back so yes you're right regular guy welcome cheers to gigging of course uh franco's in as well uh jack Hobbs is here rujo of course is in llama's in big shout out of course to llama uh in the chat here saz the man who makes the skin is here as well uh who else have we got we've got our bearded child wilco uh clue is in oh everyone's here and of course there's lots of people just chilling in the background as well which of course is absolutely fine g farrell is in welcome to you all i should say as well welcome by the way to anyone who's watching on youtube because that's now a thing um i'm busy multi-streaming that's right because apparently i can do two things at once not true <laughs> if i can ruin one thing i can ruin two things so um yeah we've decided that mrs jay's in as well with squirtle the dirty turtle um that's the pokemon character by the way that's not just a name that we call mrs j um behind her back she's definitely not the dirty turtle um so welcome in welcome to everybody by the way of course it's a pleasure to see you rob anderson is over on youtube and quarantine cyclist as well uh, i should probably let you all see what's going on shouldn't i so let's jump in to the game because this is gonna be it's gonna be notepad central still isn't it let's do it Franco says that the uh, that the podcast was enjoyable. Well done again. Thank you very much. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy the fact that people enjoy the podcast. It's great. You know what I mean? And you know what's, what's weird is the fact that we've forgotten that, the, some, that we've actually recorded all those episodes already. <laughs> it's really bizarre because obviously, like you know, we're uh, we're sort of ahead of ourselves in terms of what we're what we're making. So it's a bit like, all right, you know, what's going on now? And um, like uh, Aaron, for example, in next, oh yeah, we, of course we've already filmed. We've already filmed next week's episode. I can't, I can't tell you what happens in next week's episode because it's already been and gone um, in the can. So it's going to look weird again for next week. But basically, we talk about Aaron having a Bari save this week and um, and just the reasons as to why he he picked Bari. Um, obviously, we hadn't realised that they were, that we were going to be putting the uh, the mystery shirt was going to be in this week's show. So he didn't realise that when he'd done that. He was like, "Oh, I might do this this uh, save as uh, as my um, as my my new shirt." I hadn't realised we hadn't put that episode out yet. So he was like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna have to go and get changed and then like redo it." So obviously that's why he's chose Bari rather than uh, rather than Germany. So um, I mean that's the excuse he's going with. I mean you know let's be honest, it could be any reason really uh, as to why he's done that. But you know what? It's 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 fine. It's absolutely fine. So yeah, hope everyone is well. By the way, welcome in, of course, to uh, Build a Nation Greece. If you've never been before, it's a bit chilled around here. We have a nice time. We try not to do things that are too uh, stupid. I mean, well, we do things that are stupid, of course, because that's that's the way that the uh, that the stream works. Um, but it's going to be fine. I'm just busy trying to move some bits and bobs around me in my uh, in my background here. Let me know, by the way, if the stream starts to lag, because that's one of the things I'm going to be a little bit worried about because obviously we're trying to stream on two platforms so i'm trying to work this out as we go through um so of course i've got me uh me, me, me chat windows up but it's going to be on the chat windows via uh via the actual browsers rather than through obs so you know what i mean we'll see how we get in uh clue is about playing dinamo in the second round of the croatian cup could get ugly i mean get them get them get them get them get them uh rogie's here as well by the way hello monaret nice to see you frank i heard of it but i love the story of rdf calling the audience chat that was the uh yeah that was the live show it was the live show we did that here for tangents not trophies says franco that's right uh people in youtube we do not uh celebrate wins around here we um, well, we do celebrate wins, but let's face it, it takes a little bit of time because we eat a lot of trifle. And at the minute, uh, Lidl have now got an offer on uh, 
basically knock off Bailey's. So I'm going to be drinking that this this year. I reckon that's going to be my, my drink of choice. Um, so this is where we are. This, of course, is Larissa. This is the Builder Nation Grease Save. Uh, we are into the planning part of season one pre-season. Well, sorry, season two pre-season, really, um, where we've obviously. Uh, we missed out narrowly on promotion last year. So those people are brand new to the save, or those people have maybe not been around for a couple of days. We missed out narrowly on promotion last season. We finished third overall, which is pretty good. We're expected to finish fifth. And basically, um, in the, uh, the pre-season plan, we started putting everything together for the following season. And we had, at one point, a tactic that had four players in it because everyone wanted to leave. So uh, Aldi, not little for anyone in the chat. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Got me wrong. I got me wrong. Supermarkets. Um, sorry, Mr. Chat. I've literally just been as well. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I've literally just been. Uh, Rob Sanderson over on YouTube. Of course, I remember your name. Of course, I do. Uh, it's nice to have you in, to be honest. So it's a pleasure to see you. And of course, Quarantine Cyclist as well. We've not seen around for a long time. They were OGs on the uh, the YouTube days uh, when I was basically I was doing a, the Journeyman save in um, in parts of Eastern Europe that we are that we're no longer allowed to go to. But uh, that was fun. So basically, so the tactic. The tag, so the, the squad plan. The squad plan was basically a list of flyers that were going to go around local uh, schools, training centres, uh, five sides, Sunday league teams, all that sort of thing. And we've managed to start to build a squad. Okay, we had seventeen players leave. We've brought in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We brought nine in. Right, so we're only eight down, really. But when you sign Yam and Via, we've kind of really got about eight players in one, really, because he's that much better than everyone else, isn't he? So uh, Yam and Via is going to be our new club captain. He's going to be our new midfield dynamo. He's going to be running the show, basically. So Yam and Via is in, and he's on £2,400 a week, which is not really a lot of money, to be honest, given the fact that he's previously played for Olympiacos, he's been at Saint-Étienne, he's been at Inter Milan, and of course he's been at Sunderland as well. So Jan and Via is our big signing. Uh, we've brought this guy in, Krista Doulos Giorgio. We brought him in to play either, center, either right back or centre back. I'm not entirely sure at the minute. Maybe not centre back because he's got a jump and reach of nine. So probably more full back given the fact he's got decent tackling, reasonable pace and reasonable crossing. He is only 20. So we also brought in Apostolakis, who is a 25-year-old fullback who's clearly better. So he's going to be the first choice, to be honest. Tackling 15, uh, 13, sorry, work rate 15, acceleration 14, determination 15, bit of pace in there as well. So he's going to be our first choice right back. Plus, of course, he's got more of that DNA that we look for, that determination, that teamwork, that work rate, that stamina. Uh, all he's lacking is a bit of leadership. So we're kind of lacking that a little bit in the team but hey i'm sure we'll bring some in at some point we brought in an italian goalkeeper because the cameroonian goalkeeper carlos camini wasn't quite what we hoped for last season so you know we'll uh we'll we'll do that and they'll be fine we can hopefully uh, improve upon that so we brought in gabriele marcagiani who has previously been at roma spal ascoli and trento um and of course he's also been at uh, atromitos in Greece last season in the top division. Didn't play, released on a free transfer. Might as well come and play for us then, to be honest. Um, Clues pulled off a 3-1 upset. Get in. Get in, Clue. That's what we want to see. David Clark's in as well. Missed a few streams. Think last Saturday. Did we flop going up? We didn't flop at going up. We, we, were, we were chasing all the way through. We were nowhere near going up. We were like nine points off the top, to be honest, by the end of the season. So uh, we were expected to finish fifth. So if anything, that's not really a bottle job, is it? Uh, Jack Hobbs was fully in RDF's camp when it came to being ruthless with staff on day one. My most used button at the beginning of a save is mutual termination. <gasps> Interesting. 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 That's a harsh man. That's like, you know, like, and I forget which army it is. There's an army that when you first turn up on day one, you shoot someone in the army. Like you, you line them all up and you shoot someone in like your own brigade. And it's to prove sort of like, right, I'm the, I'm in charge now, right? That's what that's literally what what's happening there. You know what I mean? It's like, right, get one in here, right, bang, right, you're dead. Okay, so you're gonna listen to me now, are you? Yeah, thought so. Franco, I have an issue. Last season I broke odds as points in a record season with 69. It's fun, that's the funny points. Uh, this season I've won the league, I have one game left, and I'm on 69 points. Do I play to win and break the record? 
Of course you do. Of course you do. You'd go 100% for the record. Do you know what I mean? That's that's what you got to do, Frank. Well, you can't throw it. you got to be there. Rogi, I come back to Tony Torres shooting people. I can only assume he's planning a second rebuild. A little bit, Rogi. Yeah, trainer, training camp has not gone well. Um, so, Marcus Gianni's in there. We've also brought this guy in, Yanis uh, Bazoukis, who I think is going to be our playmaker this year. Got a bit of creativity about himself. Beat a bit of flair. Good teamwork. Vision and passing is really, really important, of course. Um, good at corners. Good crossing. Good first touch. Maybe a little bit lightweight, of course. Strength six. He's not really got great jumping reach. His balance isn't particularly good. And he's not massively fit. So we are going to have to get the ball to him and then hope that he can just dink it straight off pretty quickly. But um, hopefully he'll be fine. I think he's going to be pretty handy. Long shots of 13 as well. So we brought him in. Uh, he's only on loan. It's probably worth noting. So he's on loan. Um, also on loan is Sideras from Panathinaikos, who I think looked better than what he is now. Like, he'll be fine, but I still think we're lacking a, a proper, proper good centre-back. Um, Dele Giannidis has come in, and he's going to basically be the jack-of-all-trades, um, and he's going to cover a lot of bases. We need left-backs. We think he's probably going to play more on the left-hand side than the right, because uh, he can play all up the left side and the right side, so a little bit of, uh, little bit of utility space there. Uh, Krizopoulos is also another centre-back who's sort of okay but not brilliant um, so again that might potentially be a an issue but we'll see we'll see uh, hello by the way to Brazilian Fury who's over in there on YouTube and Zenomatic Gaming nice to see you in um, doing a build a nation in India will probably take 200 years to be top of Asia I mean that build a nation India is a right challenge that is a challenge and a half. I don't know how you're going to do that to us. I, I need to. I need to know more about this, really. Um, and now we're going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to test. I'm going to test the mods at this point now, because obviously we can post links for for Discord and stuff in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it over onto the, the YouTube chat. But if at any point the um, the mods are able to sort of like copy and paste some of the commands in there, that'd be awesome. I mean, much appreciated. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there you go. So there's the Discord for the YouTube people. There's the Discord, of course, for the uh, for the Twitch viewers as well. Uh, come and join us. Come and hang out. Come and let us know how your saves are getting on, by the way, because of course we do want to hear that. Um, Brazilian Fury hopes we go well so far. It seems to be. It seems to be. I've not broken the internet just yet, but there is time. There is absolutely time. Um, we will see how we get on. So, um, also players we brought in, we brought in this guy, uh, Kuntaritos. Apologies if I've butchered that because I don't think that's how you pronounce that name, to be honest. Um, but off the ball of 15, dribbling of 12, uh, reasonable acceleration, really fit. Um, he scored a load of goals last season. He got 11 goals and he got 10 assists from uh, playing from an inside forward on the left. So, um, figure that he might be someone who's quite handy plus he's playing our division as well so it'll be interesting to see him again um, in this division and see how he gets on so so that's sort of where we're at with regards to players coming in um, I'd love to say we're going to bring more in but in classic TJ fashion we're already up to it against uh, up against the wall with regards to spending so and I don't think we're going to be able to bring much more money in so we might sort of be where we're at uh, youth intake was dreadful, as I'm sure you saw uh, on Twitter or TikTok uh, over the week. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna deal with what we got at this point. If we get any more loans in, that'd be great. Um, maybe try and add a couple of loan players in if we can't. If we can get them on a free, like we don't want to be paying money uh, for wages or anything like that. So maybe we'll see if there's anything on the deadline day. See how we get on there. Evening Chaos Gaming, welcome in. Nice to see you. Alexander Corbin just watched the FM show. Very good. Thank you, Alexander. There's, of course, the link for the FM show. If you haven't seen it, you need to go and get yourself on it uh, because it's it's a cracking. It's like, you know what? I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, okay? But I start thinking, I, st I think that, the, the, you know, that, the, the football manager show, the FM show now, is, is I think we're in a bit of a groove. You know what I mean? Like, I think we're doing okay. Um, apparently, the, uh, the Discord link has come up on YouTube, so that's cool. So that does work now. Um, but, yeah, I think we're in a good spot with the FM show at the minute. Myself, RDF, producer Steve, I think we're all kind of flying pretty well. So I think we're all pretty happy with that. Um, Christopoulos has left AK after the two parties have agreed to mutually terminate his contract. Okay, now here's a striker that we looked at. 
which would have been interesting. He got 11 goals in uh, 19 games playing in our division. But unfortunately, I don't think we've got the money to bring him in. So we might have to potentially just sit there for now. Keep our eyes peeled. Up front, we are looking very lightweight, though. We've only got Super Mario and Ottoman and Petrozo. And then we're getting into the into the youngsters. So, I mean, Kutsagias, maybe. Dribbling of 13, finishing of 4. That's not a striker, is it? That's a technical winger, apparently, according to his uh, description there. But he does try and say he's a striker. Uh, Vli Vlioras. 13 for finishing, maybe, there you go, possibly, there we go, um, Sultan Amir, welcome in, appreciate the follow, that's very kind, thank you for that, uh, Jack Harbs, more than acceptable to blow your own trumpet when you're producing content as good as that, long may it continue, thank you Jack, genuinely appreciate it, it's very, very kind, um, and like, you know, we are really, really proud that people do like it, of course, so that's the, that's the main thing, Ayo, Zoltan, hope you're well, Nice to see you here. Uh, Miranda, evening. I've been having s stupid fun watching streamers all day. Less fun starting in League 2. What do you mean less fun starting in League 2? League 2's brilliant. League 2's where the fun's at. Alexander, the letters section. Call it the inbox. Oh, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Correspondence. Inbox, right? I've written that down. That's that. I, I, I quite like that. Um, Hananios have made an approach for Kostopoulos. I don't. I don't think we can afford to go in from. I think we. I think we keep having a look for players that are able on loan. Um, and we try that. But yeah, but pre preferably who aren't going to cost us any money. Players like Panakis is is going to cost us money. Um, six hundred quid, which. Yeah, we're, we're sort of already over at the minute, you know, but never mind. Uh, Sultan, I'm the Roma manager. Welcome in, Sultan. It's nice to nice to see you in there. So uh, congratulations on the Roma job. It's a shame for Mourinho, who's been booted out. But you know what? You take it. You go and do it. I think, I think you'll do a great job there. Um, Rob Sanders, I've been in the Discord for years. Well worth joining. Zenomatic Gaming, watching at 2.50 a.m., um, it's one of those, it's like one of those Champions League nights. Well, welcome in, Cinematic. I appreciate the uh, the staying power at two fifty a.m. That's yeah, that that is that is dedication right there. You know what I mean? Like, like it's nine p.m. over here in the UK, and I'm like, yeah, we need to get on quick, otherwise, like we're not going to see the whole stream. So yeah, two thirty a.m. Good work, good work. Um, Sultan has won four titles. I feel as you should probably be doing this for us rather than rather than me being the entertainer here. So you've got to be. Uh, I want to go to Bromley. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you might you might need to try it. The Bromley thing is is pretty cool. Obviously, if you've not seen it, let's let's find it over on on Twitter, shall we? Um, they are offering the chance for someone who plays Xbox, plays Xbox, uh, football manager, to potentially get a job. So. If you play Xbox Footy Manager, then you can go and try your. Obviously, you got to win the league with Bromley, and then you got to like give them the uh, little video of like how of like why your class, and then they're gonna sort of say, "All right, fair enough." And then someone's gonna get a paid opportunity for a year, so that's that's pretty cool to be honest. Um, yeah, like, I've not seen many clubs do that. So, what do they have against PCs? I think it's the fact that the it's a link up with the. Uh, with the Xbox, so I'm on a PC and Game Pass. I don't think that counts, Render. I think it's definitely just the Xbox version. It's all part of the of the link that they've got there. Um, and to be honest, if anything, it'll drive people towards buying the Xbox version as well because it's something a little bit different. Um, and and yeah, it's a good opportunity, I think. So it'll be fun, to be honest, to see who uh, see who goes for it. So you know. PC police gone mad. <laughs> First time I've complained about the walks. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's just, it's it's a it's elitist, isn't it? You know, that's the problem. Um, Brazilian Fury, opposite end of the spectrum here. It's almost 2.30 p.m. And I have to go, I have this going on while I'm way back from home. after have to renew my driver's license. What, what a day. What a day, Brazilian Fury. Yeah, so, I mean, I, look, I don't want to start like an us and them 
right and us and them between the you know the pc lot and the console lot but um all i will say is is i respect them greatly and and i and i hope that we can all get along and and we can all enjoy the fm show together and ultimately we want football manager to be the winner so i think i just about believed that I just about believed it. But in the same way, I'm also thinking, yeah, you know what? These are the sort of people who like, you know, probably like don't have actually be masking on or, or, you know, or just manage Real Madrid or something. So, yeah, I think it's probably them, isn't it? I think I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just starting an argument for no reason. Sounds like the sort of thing I'd do, to be honest. I have full respect for you, despite your many and obvious flaws. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say is... Um, they are very good at what they do. Yeah. Which is the polite way of saying, it's not my thing. It's not my thing at all. <laughs> you know, someone's got to do it, haven't they? Football manager's always the winner and I'll never be able to win anything. Well, join the club, get us. You know what I mean? We did build a nation last year. It took us a long time to get anywhere. But I think we're there now. I think we're there now. Is it too early to speculate what FM25 will be like? We can speculate. Absolutely, Corbin. Absolutely speculate. I don't know if we'll be anywhere close to to right, but we can certainly speculate. Um, I mean, some of it will be wild speculation. Of course it will, because we just don't know. So I'm going to say there's going to be not as many aliens as I'd like. Some aliens. not no, obviously not. Obviously not no aliens, but, you know, probably less aliens than I'd like. I think there will be um, potentially um, potentially nicer nicer pictures. I think the kits will be updated. I think the animations might be a little bit smoother. I think ticket prices will go up. You know what I mean? I think I think ticket prices will go up a little bit. Um, this question on on YouTube isn't Xbox like the gateway to proper FM? <laughs> You can't call it proper FM. You have to call it. I think the official line is that they are they are two different games. They are definitely two different games. Um, so that's the official line. And far be it from me to uh, to to want to to deviate from that. Transfers will have been updated. That I mean, Franco. You know, that's a that's a bold call. That's a bold call. 2D will still be available on FM25. I like. You know what? I hope it is. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. Ability to add off-world leagues and custom rules for different races. Custom rules for different races. That that sounds... I don't quite know. <laughs> I don't know whether I've read it wrong or not. Nice, <laughs> but it sounds like... You know what? And there's different rules for them, right? And, I, and I'm sure it's not meant that way, but... <laughs> um... I'm playing 4 2 3 1 to assault him. My tactic will the attack will be 4 3 3 defensive 4 5 1. Do you think it's good? Uh, if, you, if you're winning games, it's it's good, right? If you're winning games, it's good. Uh, we are playing a 4 3 3, to be honest. Um, and it seems to be working enough for us, to be honest. Paddy, I keep telling my friends that mobile version is good. It's not, oh, sorry, mobile version is the gateway drug, and console version seems to be the logical middle step. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Like you know, I don't want to obviously, uh, I don't want to obviously, you know, suggest that there is any uh, drug relation here. But I mean, as a as a as a as an analogy, you know, it, it, it works well. It works well. Welcome to FM twenty five Brexit edition. Yeah, and another thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be, that would be. That would be tricky. There'll be some. There'll still be some people going like, "Yeah, but it's not Brexit enough, is it?" Like, "Oh dear." <laughs> like, you, know. you know, the Suella, Bra Suella Braverman version. Don't want any transfers at all. None. No transfers. Don't want anyone coming in the country. Uh, what's our tactic? Our tactic is this: it's a four-four-two, basically, Saltimer. It is very much a four-four-two. I don't care what anyone says, right? It's a four-four-two. Okay. And what we do is we uh, <laughs> walked into, to, we just speculated about FM25, Jord. And um, basically what happened is I've taken something that Fat and I said completely out of context 
for comedic purposes. And unfortunately, it's uh, it has it has potentially um, <laughs> made everything a little bit awkward, and only because of the fact that we're just joking. Get the out of context, TJ. Come and make it happen. Make it happen. Um, why is the tactic like this? Okay, so basically, it makes complete sense. Okay, so this is a four-four-two. Ignore the fact that the wing is all the way up here. Okay, ignore the fact the ball in the midfield is all the way down here. Basically, what it is is think of the old Man United system, right? In the, in the 90s under under Fergie. Okay, this is your Roy Keane here, right? Your ball in the midfielder. Six doesn't really get forward very much. He'll do all the dirty work he needs to be doing. Central midfielder, Paul Scholes, he'll do bits and bobs. He might move forward, he might step back, he might offer protection, he might offer support. Uh, this is a defensive winger, which is kind of... I, I prefer the term pressing winger personally in the game because I don't think they're defensive really um, because the idea is they actually will press the ball high. So if you're on support, they'll press like a full court press like in, in NBA in basketball. If they're on defend, they'll only press like sort of the halfway line-ish, maybe the... 20 yard area or something um so for me a, a defensive winger is kind of what beckham would be like like he'd get forward he'd sit about here and he'd cross from deep he might get to the byline but he's not going to get the byline really because neville is doing the overlapping as a wing back so he wants to get to the byline and cut the ball back maybe pull the ball back for beckham to ping it on um, towards the back stick uh pressing forward and then advance forward basically take your pickers to what york sheringham cole like you know solshire van nistelrooy whatever they're going to be they could all mix with loads of different uh, options. The other winger that, that Man United had, the uh, the one who we don't really speak about, he would go up and down forwards all the way, um, and he will, will get to the byline. So we want to play him on attack, so he's going to be a little bit further forward. Uh, then, of course, you've got the fullback just on support, who maybe gets to the halfway line. That's kind of Dennis Irwin style, uh, to be honest, gets there. Um, so that's essentially, that's essentially how it looks. So, like, when we go forward... It looks different, but that's roughly what it would look like in terms of, of, a, of a defensive shape, you know? So, I don't think it looks... It, it looks worse than it is. Oh, yeah, and Teddy Sheringham is, of course, our coach. So, there is there is that as well. Um, so, yeah, so the shape might look odd on, on screen, but when it plays, it makes sense, you know? Uh, Quarantine Cyclist on YouTube. New rule suggestion for FM25. Braverman Special Edition. Some might suggest the Rwanda building edition might get much easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> In a sense, I shouldn't be laughing at that. But it's like, yeah, there will be somebody on one of the forums. On one of the forums going, I'm going to do Rwanda building edition. Hey, look, it turns out I can get loads of English players in there. Fucking brilliant. Um, although they're not technically English, but you know what I mean, right? Um so yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun. But we are, like I say, we're we're basically trying to build Greece uh, at this point, um, and we will we will try as much as we can to make it happen. Uh, it might work, it might not. We don't know. Love Dennis Irwin, good cork fella, more lovable than Keane. I mean, to be fair, most people are more lovable than Roy Keane. You know, he's a he's an acquired taste, is Roy Keane, much like. Um, Marmite and, and Terps. Uh, Roy Boy, evening Roy Boy. Yeah, we're using the uh, we are using the Saz skin. So appreciate you asking about that. Uh, yeah, of course the the maker of the skin is in here as well. Um, oh, Terps. Oh, so turds. That's right. Sorry, look, sorry, Llama. I got the wrong one. Yeah, definitely turds uh, rather than Terps. Turds are an acquired taste. Terps, easy. Drink that all night. But turds, yeah, yeah. I've got to be in the mood for it. You know. Definitely, definitely not like, like, I think it's more of a, is it a starter drink or is it more of a, a it's probably more of a mid-evening drink, isn't it? You, can't, you don't start on the turds. Um, what on earth am I on about? Terps is very Moorish. It is. It is. Um, so second, so top half finish. Top half finish is what the uh, the board are expecting. Uh, waiting for TJ to do a Kung Fu kick to a tactics board. That, you know what? Incoming. Incoming, Scott. That's what, we're that's what we think. So, Sultan, who's our role model? In, in what sense? In what sense? Rogi, I'm going to stop playing this Pentagon save watching this. Last time, Injury Mania. This time, King Kazu announced he's going to retire. <gasps> what? No. 
Surely not. Surely not. I, I'm not normally one to advocate for this rogie, but I mean, if you were to, if you were to save and reload and just try and see if he like doesn't retire, then you know, no one around here is going to be saying anything about it. You know what I mean? Um, Quarantine cyclist says that that, tur that turds are definitely not an aperitif, especially if you don't want the aftertaste. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I've, I've never thought about that. In fact, yeah, I probably should have thought about it first of all, shouldn't I? Um, let's talk about the League 2 campaign coming forward. Um, they are very happy. Okay, that's cool. We're all pleased with that. Um, I have nothing else to talk about. I'm happy. We're grand. All we need to do is we need to try and get ourselves um, moved, up the, moved up the table. So what happened as well last, last season, for those people who weren't here, and a little refresher for those who were, so last season in the uh, in the second division here in Greece the league looked like this it was it was a two tier division well not two tier division but like two division divisions so like we had a north and a south there was a split okay and two teams went up of course who were who were the the, the champions and then the league split into like a, a qualification like group and then a relegation group now B teams can't get promoted, so AEK, Pauk Salonika, Panathinaikos, Olympiakos, they can't get promoted to the top division. Panathinaikos and Olympiakos actually got relegated to the third division. So, so that happened, and we just missed out. I say just missed out. Nine points. Is, is that just missing out? I think that's missing out by quite a while, isn't it? So... We would have finished second in the in the South Division as well. We'd have been three points behind Ayanakos, who who won the league. And then when the season finished, the Greek FA said, "Well, actually, the following season, how's about we go to this instead, and we changed it up to a single league, so twenty teams, we all play each other now." So. I don't know if last year was the year to go up. There was only one space to go up. This year, we've technically got two chances of going up. So if anything, we have a slightly better opportunity of potentially being promoted into the top division. Yeah, like a normal league, Jordan. Exactly, like a normal league. Obviously, the top team gets automatic promotion. The second team goes into the relegation playoff, presumably. Is it relegation playoff? Let's just double check on the rules. No, nope. straight up all straight up promoted. So two teams get promoted straight away, which is pretty handy. Should say as well, by the way, there's just been a little flash up there for a uh, a VPN and antivirus software. So if you if you look for a VPN, then yeah, if you hit that link. It's only 19 quid. It's much cheaper than it's advertised. It's decent. Got to pay them bills, soz for for ads and that. But you know, got to in it. Um, so yeah, so that's that's where we are with the league then. Okay. And I'm pretty. I'm all right with that. I'm all right. That that. I think after last season, after last season, I feel as though we can probably have a good go at it. But I'm also aware that oh, anything could happen. Anything could happen. <laughs> Tony Money Jameson these days. Oh, like Lama. I hate. I, like, I hate myself for it. Like you know what I mean. Like I would love to live in a world where where I don't have to do. Um ads or anything like that i would love to do that but we all know as you know you know that that you know you gotta you gotta pay you gotta pay the way somehow haven't you uh and yes you're right those classic football shirts are not free uh, i should also point out there should actually i should put a new command to be honest for this in the uh hello everyone and in the night bot but myself and si Maggio have just started thank you very much for that bearded child have just started a football shirt show over on YouTube. So if you are interested in, in having a watch of that or dropping us a follow, of course, please feel free to go and do that. It's pretty good. We've got your friend of mine, Rich Owens, is on the show this week. So he's uh, talking about Sheffield Wednesday shirts and one of my favourite subjects, mid-1990s Italian football. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought we'd have got to that so quickly? Andre Ayew is available. Oh my days, Rich Owens, what a guy! Like, yeah, oh, hundred percent. Like, if you get the chance to get Rich Owens on a podcast, you do it, right? You do it. You absolutely do it. 
Ibrahim Boobadoops. I mean, Boobadoobs. Boobadoobs. I'm just going to keep saying it till it's funny. Boobadoobs. Uh, heard he does a decent podcast. He does do a decent podcast. He does the Football Manager Therapy podcast. So get get yourselves listening to that as well. You know, just because I've left doesn't mean it's 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 not good. If I have anything, it just means you know it's 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 different. So the boys have done a great job. You did do it, but then left to do the FM show. I did. I did. I I followed the money. I followed the money. Macintosh was like, I got, I got money. I'm like, I'm, I'm in the car, Macintosh. Already, I'm already doing it. Let's let's do it. You know, I'll just say yes. Then you tell me how much for. Yeah. Have you heard of Football Town who do old style cotton jerseys with near but not actually for legal reasons badges? No. No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. What? I know we don't we don't do links, but do you want to send myself a link or or Ruggio or Rogi or Dan? Um, Send us a link and we can have a little look at that. That'd be quite quite interesting to see. I got banned from Ireland. I did, yeah, yeah, true, yeah. There was there were there was there was a, bit, a few questions about certain parts of Ireland. Um, so these lads, footballtown.com, they're the ones. Black Friday sale, thirty percent off. <gasps> Don't tell me that. Manscaped's only twenty five percent off on Black Friday. That's right, Manscaped. Shave your balls, twenty five percent less. Oh God, I really am a whore, aren't I? <laughs> Normally only twenty percent with the FM with use code use the code FM show, but twenty five percent for Black Friday. New arrivals. Let's look at new arrivals. Let's see what they've got. Classic nineties rampant lion. That's my name on the internet. Uh, tribute batty goal. That's a Bordeaux shirt, Ruggio. I've already found your Christmas present here. These are pretty cool, actually. They're a little bit. It's a little bit like Toffs, isn't it? Have you have you got? Have you, is there a, have you seen Toffs? It's a little bit like that. There's some nice stuff here, actually. That's a fairly smart. Actually, to Toff's tried to do some stuff with us when we first started. Very, when we properly first started. Um, and, like, I didn't know. I'm not like the pro I am now when it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can take a, do, do a plug for something right now. Um, this is a... They were like, oh, yeah, like try and do some stuff. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And it took me ages to actually do stuff. Like, you know what I mean? So we never actually ended up getting something sorted with them. But this is the sort of thing that they've got. Um, and it's very, very similar. So I like you're plugging VPNs when you re when I reckon you only have a tenuous understanding of what a VPN is. VPNs like to do with your pants, isn't it? The v VPN visible pants? You know, no, no v VPN. Um, I think it's something to do with porn. I think... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Someone asked if I wanted to do it, and I was like, "Yeah, why not? Why not? Get it done." <laughs> How much do I get per sale? Yeah, fine. Sign, sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs> Quarantine cyclist, vintage football shirts, my lovely figure hugging kappa. Oh god, yeah. If you've seen the uh, the latest episode, of myself and Sai, I've got a figure hugging kappa one on. Uh, whale shirt from 04 just about fits my dog these days. I'll be wearing it Sunday afternoon. Never getting over my gut again. Yeah, there's a there is a an issue with with uh, with player fit, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? Which players? I want Sunday League player fit. That's what I want. Looks similar. FT. Am I half a half my Christmas presents for people sorted? Nice. I might, I'll have a look at them. I will have a look at them. I reckon because yeah, they've got some decent stuff on there. To be honest. I need to borrow a dartboard so I can hang a shirt in front of it. Look, Rouge, you, you know you're getting some Bordeaux stuff. You know. First goalkeeper injury, I was kind of hoping you hadn't spotted that as either. <laughs> but, yeah, Kamini's now the uh, official backup. Seven weeks for Salukas. Lower back stress fracture. That, that Again, that's my name on the internet. Hopefully, Mark Kajani is going to be okay. We've got. I think we've got a friendly today, by the way. That's... That's interesting. Yay! Friendlies. God, how many friendlies? 86. John Parkin and Steve McNulty player fit, please. That's what I want. Exactly. I want Akin Fenwa player fit. I want... Uh, who was that goalkeeper? The non-league one that ate a pie in the uh, in the dugout. I want that level player fit, please. 
I want Kevin Pressman fit. I want, to be fair, I love Lloyd Griffith like so much, right? He's a lovely, lovely man. I want Lloyd Griffith fit. That's what I want. <laughs> Just two major, two moderate, one minor, and one slight injury for my squad. Yep, yeah, both goalkeepers are injured. I think there's still a little bit of tweaking he's doing, I think, Lulu Booster. But it's a pleasure to have you in, though. Sonny Boz looks pretty handy, doesn't he? 14 for player ability and 16 for player potential. We're not going to get any better than that as a scout. Extensive knowledge of Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, France, Aruba, Krakow, Suriname, Finland, Bonnier, and San Martin. I mean, <laughs> this guy's been on some package holidays, hasn't he? No, I think you'll find I have a, 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 wide, a, a wide knowledge of Aruba. Do you really? <laughs> hey, here we go then. They might have a Seattle one with an orca. Where's Matt when you need him? Oh, that's a hell of a shirt, that one as well. That's a hell of a shirt. Wayne Shaw is the pie keeper. <laughs> it sounds like a job, doesn't it? I am the pie keeper. You shall not pass. What's the password, please? Is it steak and kidney? Yes, it is. Yes, it's, it is steak and kidney. Well done. In you come. Um, pies. Pies of all shapes and sizes. Hot pies and cold pies. None of this American dessert pies, of course. Uh, there in the cake aisle over there. I feel like a Ruba Curacao comes into it as some form of Dutch territories. Uh, but yeah, maybe actually, yeah. If you've got the whole Suriname thing as well, that probably makes sense, doesn't it? Um, we'll move swiftly on then, shall we? About uh, former territories. Let's just let's just sweepy sweepy sweepy. Uh, we've done build a nation already. Um, let's not do uh, rebuild an empire. Let's not do that save. Some people have though. Some people have, and I do not. Well, yeah. Yeah, let, leave, leave them to it. Leave them to it. You know? So, right. Let's have a watch. Let's have a watch of the lads in action, shall we? Have we not... Have I missed it? We've missed, we've missed two friendly matches. Hang on, have we got the... Uh, hang on, hang on. Where's friendly matches? Leeds friendlies? I don't think so. Give me that back. Give me that back. Bonnier and St. Martin. I almost read that as St. Mirren. <laughs> Bonnier and St. Mirren. Um, I did, a, did do a former communist state-only save with Rostock three years ago. Thank God I didn't do it 12 months later. God, yeah, could you imagine? Well, I mean, well, so I mean, here, here's part of the problem with with obviously FM and, and, and world politics. When I did the when I started doing content and did the journeyman save, we ended up in Belarus, which at the time it was great fun managing in Belarus. Now, not allowed to do that, obviously, not allowed to do that at all. But, yeah, that's where we got the other Arsenal from. We might just have taken a, a, a centre-back on, on loan with uh, with no wages. I'm not sure if we need another centre-back. I think we need we probably need a... We definitely need a striker. And we could do another left-back as well, actually. Worth noting as well that we haven't really used our foreign quarter either I should not have found that first football shirt site oh Dan it's brutal isn't it it's brutal Doombia can't get him on I mean let's just stick him on the shortlist for now 18 year old Marley and striker 18 18 He's currently earning 25 quid a week. But you know what? I'm going for it. I don't know anything about him, but I'm going for him. There's just, I've got a feeling. This, this could work. Okay. I see, a, I see an Arsenal burgundy shirt. Oh, 14 on the back. Yes. It was meant to be. It was meant to be, Dan. M render key to injuries I think is to have a big squad so that the RNG 
has less chance to hit your starters. I think I think what I've noticed is there's a lot of niggly injuries. Niggly injuries. And that when when people say there's so many there's there's loads and loads of injuries in the game, I think what they mean is that there's loads of little one day, two days, one week, three weeks, those sorts of injuries keep cropping up. And I I could be wrong, but I don't think there's as many four month, five month, six month injuries that there has been previously. So you are more likely to get a run of someone's got a broken toe, someone's got a cold, someone's damaged the shin all at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Um Quarantine like Cyclist says, I have fond memories of Belarus and the creative finances around the stadium. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, we. Uh, so what happened? In, we'll go back to this in a second. What happened? We ended up with a stadium somehow. We were, we were sharing a stadium uh, with a team that was like uh, so many miles away. It was ridiculous. And then we ended up being like told like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you can come in and have this stadium. Absolutely. And they just built us a new stadium. And it was... 500 500 quid or something 500 grand like it's just like this makes no sense whatsoever um right i don't think that we i don't think that we pay you 40 percent. i think we just try and sign you as a free transfer for 1000 for 1.6 grand you're on, you're on 25 quid mate like He better be good. He better be good. Even Barton, how are you, pal? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This team never gives up. First season in top of the league. HK Solin is first. Two points clear after 15 matches and an international break. Clue's got it locked, hasn't it? Thing is, Clue, I remember you saying in the in the Discord, going, oh, I don't know if I fancy Croatia. I don't know. I don't know. Here we are. You're loving it right now, right? Yeah. There's a Hazus Navas tribute shirt. Oh, slight knocks are more realistic, says Crazy Brit. Agreed. Agreed. Barton, not bad. Just restarted my proper save. Yeah, you had a bit of an issue with yours, didn't you, Barton? Nice to see you again, by the way. Absolutely on top of the world. See, I told you, Clue. Sometimes you just got to stick with it and be like, right, you know what? Yeah, let's go with it. It's maybe a bit off the beaten track. Don't really know too much about it. Go and have a go. Go and have a go. And why would you not? I'm going to have a quick little nose in this football town as well, actually, and see what's going on. I bought the uh, I bought the Loch Ness shirt yesterday. Mrs. J's in the chat. Um, <laughs> but I bought the Loch Ness shirt yesterday. So that's coming next week. And, uh, and Cy, has sent, Cy has sent me the first package to be opened up on stream. Uh, not on stream, sorry, on the um, on the show. So we've, we've bought ourselves a football shirt each as well as part of the uh the football shirt show and obviously if you saw the fm show on wednesday you will have seen that we got gifted from surprise shirts uh, you did what <laughs> so it was it was where i think it's 25 quid mrs j i think i think it's 25 quid um and it's got a lot less monster on it it's the, you know what? It's the one that um, that we saw in the in the shop in York that I showed you. It was the white with the gold with the Loch Ness monster on, and I think there was like fifty, there was about forty five quid, I think, in 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 the York shop. But Cult Kits had it on this week, so I've bought it from there. So content, it's content, isn't it? Um, if you wish to uh, to fund the uh, football shirt bag obsession that appears to be happening now, uh, please feel free to link your Prime to your Twitch, and it's free um, for yourself. And then I get a little kickback, and then everything works out fine. Um, Let's 
right. Uh, see, we need to pay for a thing for him, right? I'll tell you what, let's gonna, right, let's cancel it for now because he's gonna come out of contract anyway, so it's gonna be fine. Take out the trifle allowance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more trifles for a week. I've got a trifle in the fridge actually. I should have brought it on. Why am I? Not, why am I not trifling? Who are you and what have you done with TJ? Uh, yeah, your eyes don't deceive you, by the way, as well. We have taken Andre Ayew on trial. Uh, I don't think we will be using him. Uh, you can grab it, Mr. J, but I've, I've, still, I've still some cake here, so I should probably eat the cake first before the trifle. So uh, maybe I'll save the trifle for tomorrow. But I've still got Mrs. J's cake. Advertising definitely works. You've said FM show so many times i have to watch it next time i'm pulling it all night <laughs> i mean thank you thank you for that um i should say of course because we had the uh the um the secret shirts people on and of course we've, we've had secret shirts of uh have have obviously been been kind to us in the past and and i had to i had to message rogi very quickly after the um after the record because it's like uh, so rogi i got given a football shirt and i don't know how i was supposed to feel about it and and what happened was we were given the um well fine, fine, fine i'll eat the trifle then like you know i'm trying to you know i've got i've got a cake here i've got a trifle i saw a picture of myself on stage last night i need to hit the gym again I mean, don't get me wrong it didn't come as, as much of a surprise like oh look at you tony the size of you i was fairly sure that was that size anyway but it's just disappointing when you see it like yeah yeah you really are um So, right here we go then we are off and running um in pre-season of course shirt sponsors sending you cakes so you have to buy a new set of jerseys that's it that's it so so we got um so we were given we were gifted this uh this this shirt and i got the wraith rovers away kit which is uh even jason captain welcome in pal Evening from Greece. Hope you're well, brother. Hope life's treating you well. Hope, oh, what, what's, whoa, what just went on there? What went on there? The last Palmas edition. I think it must be. The, the, that's, that's the pink one, isn't it? So, yeah, they sent... I'll, I'll show you after this um, After this match. It's a crazy shirt. It's like, it's so good. But I was just like, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to have this one or not. <laughs> Bazookas back to... Uh, Christopoulos and Via Bazookas Pedroso. Oh, this year they've got a yellow and blue one. This is the this is the pink one. It's the pink one. So it's um, gonna head out to TJ. No worries, Clue. Pleasure to have you in. Hope you're good. See you soon. Take care. Watch the replay tomorrow. Absolutely. The uh, VOD will, of course, go up on Twitch and uh, and it's on the TJFM live channel as well. Um, it's a little bit pink on the on the pink side. It's a little bit on the pink side, isn't it? It's the most pink that's ever happened of anything. Um, what's wrong with Wraith? There's well, it was it was more of a stance they took with a with a former player. So that's uh, that that that's where we're at with that one. And obviously, uh, it caused a. Um, it caused a controversy. Get in, Super Mario. Um, yeah, it caused a bit, of, a bit of controversy, and obviously they shouldn't have, uh, they shouldn't have, have taken him on. The women's team, obviously, understandably, were upset about that and walked out. Uh, even Black Dragon, welcome in. Nice to see you. Obviously, a bit of quite quite a considerable amount of backlash, and then um, as as Rogie's saying there, yeah, they've they've obviously then learned from that situation. Went right, okay, fair enough. Let's uh, let's try and and sort of refocus. But as as he also says there, yeah, yeah with our women's team, which is a bit which is a, a massive shame to be honest. But this of course means this is where we're at with you know 
these issues now of footballers yeah you know they have to be taken as as full full you know um consideration like you know there's there's an impact all over the place sponsorship left to goes yes i think they had the sponsor i think the the, the company lead of the sponsor is, is a woman as well i believe so big val mcdermott yeah that's right yeah yeah, yeah. so so Kalitha are in our division, I believe. I think so. Yeah, yeah, Athens Kalitha. So one all. But yeah, it was a bit of a mess. But as Rogi says, thankfully they seem to have learned from it. And um, and yeah, the shirt's an absolute banger, which is, you know, which is uh, a bit, which is obviously difficult. Dan's bought the shirt. <laughs> Dan's gone and got his Arsenal shirt. Well played, Dan. Awesome. I demand I demand pictures of it in the Discord when it turns up. I'm sure it I'm sure it looks stunning. Nicely intercepted Bazookas. Back to Marcajani. I'm just trying to work out like sort of where we're gonna go. I mean Search by inspiration, that's probably the one, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Search by teams. Sampdoria. Sampdoria didn't really, didn't have any, uh, any results. What? Oof, I don't know about that. Retro. Tribute players. Let's look at the tribute players, shall we? They're, they're the ones, isn't it? Good cross in, straight across the goal. No one's there to tap it in, sadly. I was weak, 30% off, couldn't resist. You know what? Why not, Dan? Treat yourself. You deserve it. You deserve it. I'm an enabler, aren't I? <laughs> I think that's what I am. The ball in. Okay, so we're getting the ball down the channels. We are almost getting chances. Oh, that's not cleared very well. This might come back and haunt us. What we're not doing is we're not... We're not able to, to actually penetrate when it gets into the box. See, told I was going to come back and haunt us. This is why we go through pre-season, isn't it? Try and iron out some of these, uh, these kinks. Goalkeeper clears wasn't brilliant. Good ball in. And then, is that our current centre-back or makeshift centre-back? Chrysopolis. It's one of the new guys, isn't it? Wondering if it would have been possible to get a team to play out of defence like that in old football manager champ managers. Um Probably. Like it would have taken a bit of work. I don't think you could do it quite as it is now, because obviously the positional play um element would be would be like something that helps create the team and the and the way that it plays. So maybe it wouldn't play exactly the same way. But it would be interesting to have a go. Yeah, you'd use the arrows, Monterey. Exactly, exactly. And it might just be a bit more... You'd have to be a bit more creative with it, I think, to try and work out how to do it. Like, I did a tournament with um, with uh, with Dave Black. So, some of you who, who saw me do the, uh, the Monday Night Football things when we did Twitch Sports. Dave Black, who does, like, loads of CM9798 content. Broke all the books on Chapman9798 as well, and he's... Uh, speaks very very uh, eloquently about the game he did a a little um a little sort of challenge like a world cup almost on champman 9798 and the tactics that the people were, were coming up with was amazing i was just like oh i remember all this i remember all this. it was just so much fun to be like oh look at that like look what we're trying to do here and it was literally playing the out playing with the arrows was was just changing everything Completely. Um, good ball out to Ninikas. Christopoulos. Lovely little back heel. Jan and Veer with a diff from distance. Rob Sanderson. No worries, buddy. Take it easy. See you soon. Good to see you dancing around the Mario. <laughs> I wish I could see you. Mate, you know what I mean? It's not the first time, is it? And it won't be the last. It won't be the last. In possession, out of possession, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, with 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 the ball and without the ball. That's what they had, wasn't it? I 
was really frustrating as well because I got given England. And I was like, I don't really want England. Potentially game breaking. Could yeah, could have been. Could have been. Never play Chapman again as I fear my younger brother will appear and demand his turn on a game. That could happen, M Render. That could happen. Jared Pedroso, the Paul Heckenbaum way of managing. I think that's that is definitely the technical term for it, isn't it? Offside? Oh so close. So close. And Veer's tired, so maybe we bring him off for um Petralis. We don't really have a left back. So that's gonna be a concern. We still could probably do with a with a uh, a left back in there. Even game legend. Well, how are we? Up the Larissa. Indeed you say up the Larissa. Welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. Nice to see you, pal. Hope life's treating you well. Ottoman goes for the near post. Doesn't quite get there. Ball's crossed in, cleared away. Uh, we're just in pre-season uh, game legend, so I'm not panicking too much about the uh, about the result here, to be honest. Uh, enjoy the first football show podcast video. Thank you very much, game legend. Thank you very much indeed. It was nice to have Rich on um, and get him to chat footy shirts. And of course, naturally, I, I, I weighed in with a whole load of absolute nonsense to make it uh, to make it fun. So that's what we do in it. Go and do silly things. You're next to Larissa in Tricala. Right, Black Dragon, you need to find us a shirt, pal. Right. Apparently, there's no club shop in Larissa anymore. So, how do we how do we get a Larissa shirt? Obviously, we've uh, we've got a Greece shirt, but we, but we haven't got we haven't got the crimson horses. That's what that's what we that's what we desperate for. You ask around. <laughs> Hey, uh, love, right? I want. Have you got one of those crimson horses? Not watched it yet. It's on my list, Bart. And appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Do need to watch one with Rich on tomorrow. And oh, oh so you watched the, uh, the 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 original one with myself and Sai. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I thought. You know what? I thought for a first episode, I thought we were like we were wondering whether there was going to be enough to talk about. And I think we just about. We're just about covered enough, you know. Uh, you've, got, you've got a lot of friends who are monsters. Yes, get the monsters in the stream. That's what we need. So do you reckon that the monsters will be able to sort us out? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do them a deal for a VPN if we get the monsters involved. Yeah, it's 19 quid for a VPN, but for monster discount, we'll do it for 15. I'm sure that's how it works. You could set your VPN to Greece and watch the Larissa games. So, two one down then in our first managed friendly. It says a lot when we've won the other two friendlies. Um, <laughs> to be honest, you know, we've won the other two friendlies when we haven't been in charge. But, but it's but all but you know we've got injuries and stuff. That's fine. Game lens. I've got a similar opinion to your Newcastle shirt pin on the video. Sunderland Vork shirts as well. You know what? I think at the time they, those shirts. The, the Newcastle shirts of 95 and 96 were incredible. Like, they are absolute goat football shirts. Sunderland Vox as well is just stunners. If, if it's the Hummel ones, they are so good. The uh, the best one, the best one's the Blue Away kit. Blue Away kit with Vox white on the front is uh, is so good. So, so good. We're using the uh, the Saz skin, Exploding Carrot. Can you get yourself a copy of the Saz skin downloaded? It's a, it's a it's a work of art, is what it is. Um, but there's a, but you know what? There's a question for the chat. Okay, we'll put it into the podcast. It's going to be part of the podcast going forward. But what is a shirt that you would that you you would refuse to wear? Like you hate the fact that you love that shirt. You know. So for me, of course, for me, for as as a as a Sunderland fan, like I I, I struggle to bring myself to the fact that I could never wear the 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 Newcastle granddad collars the black and white stripes and then like the the burgundy and navy blue hoops i could never wear them but my word they are gorgeous so like the best kits to be honest i have to say that they are up there 
like what else could you what else is there in your mind you're going like oh god like you know i can't believe that it, that's their kit dino didn't buy a birmingham shirt for years just the betting sponsor on the front again that is that's the subject we're going to be discussing we're going to discuss sponsors and and the way that they look and of, of course the you know the, the type of sponsor that they are as well um so yeah we'll definitely be be looking forward to those as a killy man i couldn't wear any of the old firm shirts with the cr smith celtic ones oh do you mean the um that green brown and white one with the uh with with the cr smith on the it wasn't CR, it was people's ford wasn't it on there but yeah the old cr smith uh celtic umbro ones just really really beautiful pj burridge as a man you fan the ecru liverpool away kit from the late 90s that's a good one and the west germany 1990 kit is one of the greatest kits of all time one of the greatest white one stunning the green one oh so good so good dean two clubs have always been brilliant away kits and third kits those are norwich city and coventry consistently beautiful alternative kits i would have to agree the coventry special kit from a few seasons back was gorgeous i was about to say the exact same thing i was about to say the exact same thing that was a great one even the uh the one that they had um and i think it was i'm, I'm about to say i think it was steve grizovich era but i think it was steve grizovich's goalkeeper kit and it was black and red checks I can't remember if it was if that was their actual kit, whether that was the goalkeeper kit. The Arsenal 0506 Maroon jersey. That's a belter, that in it, Nervine. That's an absolute belter. I'm presuming if you don't if you wouldn't want to wear it, does that mean you're a Spurs fan? Or Chelsea, maybe? But yeah, that Arsenal one is. That's with the with the gold O2 and the gold number on it. They just they just did everything perfect on that kit. Chaos loved how much they hated it and still wound them up. The Man United Grey kit was Southampton. I yeah. I don't think the grey kit's quite as like the grey kit's really like iconic, isn't it? Because of the because because of the nature of what it was. Um and obviously like they, they lost those games. But I think the, the green and white one they've got this year is um, the green and white one this year. I think is going to go down as one of the most iconic Man United kits. Genuinely, I, I think that in the future you will be able to, to buy that, and it'll be so expensive. I think it'll be worth an absolute fortune, personally. Um, George, Germany, nineteen ninety one green edition i'd wear it but it wouldn't due to the shit you get off the older generation yeah true or the ingerland crowd of course as well um quarantine cyclist is the black and blue man united kit from the early mid 90s where the black was something significant oh is that the one where they've got the badge that's like in the the, the shirt and it's like loads of flex and stuff as well that's pretty that's a pretty good one i like the black sharp view cam one and i love the blue and white one the blue and white stripe one um, but see, I'm not, I'm not a Man United fan, and I'm not a Man United hater. So for me, like, there's there's a few Man United kits where I look at them and I'm like, yeah, they're pretty good kits. I wouldn't wear them, but they're pretty good. Like, you know, there's even I, I was gonna say there's even some Man, Man City. Kits. There is there is a couple of Man City kits that I look at and go, yeah, you know what, they're cool. Like the brother kits from you know the uh, the Umbro ones from uh, you know the uh, Uwe Rosler days, um, Georgie Kinkladzi that sort of thing pretty smart that blue home kit's gorgeous and then the white away kit that's got the pinstripes in it really really nice i like the hollow badge of the chelsea a hologram badge on the new chelsea kit's pretty smart yeah nicest man new kit was the ice blue and white one lee sharp hat trick yeah yes oh the adidas ussr shirt i know like we're not allowed to like it are we but it, let's be honest it's a banger because the Holland shirt go is like yeah everyone just says yeah 100% the Holland shirt is the greatest is one of the greatest shirts of all time but some people forget that the USSR one was was the same template in red and yeah absolutely mint absolutely mint big update on the football town site what's happened what's happened don't tell me there's an extra 10% off if you use the code Dan if you use the code Dan Gamer Dan, please tell me you've got an affiliation. Please tell me that they're sponsoring the stream. 
That would be awesome if Dan's done the <laughs> Dan's done the Lord works. So, I tell you what, Tony, I've got you twenty percent off Super Mario scores. <laughs> You love the blue and yellow stripes that Hampton away shirt from the 90s. Big and baggy one, carrot. That's the one, yeah? Sanderson on the front, I think. Maybe. Main idea was sharp as sponsors were mostly classics, partly because of the team. This is this is part of it, you know? Because football shirts are all about are all about moments, aren't they? Like, <clears throat> you just remember things. You're taking back the certain eras and that's the, I think that's the thing with the Newcastle that's the that's the Newcastle vibe of those those like iconic shirts in the 90s like they were playing great football at the time there was a lot of people second team Faustino Aspria in the snow you know it's just oh Pedroso get in Emma Hayes has just taken over Wrexham in your save pretty cool love that I love that love it no discount code from me. I mean, Dan, just, you need to be using your discount code, mate. Come on. If you send a picture of yourself to them wearing the shirt, you get an extra 20% off for life. It's called Dan FM. That's what we use. We're using, we're using discount code Dan FM. It's pretty good. I'm having a little nosy about here. I mean, look, see, automatically I'm drawn to Tribute Il Capitano 3. Because of course I am. Why would I not be? Tribute Batigol. Yardel Dragao. Oh, this is 57% off. This is pretty much free. Right. Look at this one. One of my favourite kits ever was, was the Kilmarnock home shirt with a st seriously strong cheddar cheese sponsor. <laughs> yeah, the JJB sponsor was the uh, the one that you've just got, isn't it, Rogi? I love the... Uh, I quite like to... Um... Right, here's a beer. Super Mario Pedroso, good save. There's a couple of relatively nice Middlesbrough kits as well, with like BT Cellnet on there. And I've got to say, as a Scotland fan, there's even a couple of England kits that are pretty smart. Yeah. The obvious ones are the 90, 1990 kit. That's the obvious one. Yeah. Leicester was sponsored by the Leicester Building Society in 2005. That was good. I did like that. I did like that. Evening, George Westner. Welcome in, by the way, on, uh, on YouTube. Nice to see you. Hope you're good. Welcome into the first stream on YouTube. Obviously, over on uh, over on Twitch here, we're doing. We've been here for a while, but we figured we'd just try and uh, branch out and do a an, multi-stream. So we're allowed to do that now. Love the Euro '96 England and Scotland kits. Oh, Scotland one with the tartan on the inside. Yeah, Mr. Tom was the best sponsor. Barton knows game, doesn't he? Barton knows game. I'm a big fan as well of the Game Legends got the Euro 96 away kit. Is that the denim one? The denim grey one, isn't it? Because that's that's pretty iconic. I think they made a big deal about it, didn't they? Pretty smart shirt, to be honest. But I like the... Um, I'm a massive fan of Umbro 1990s lace collar kits as well. So you've got the Villa one, the Ipswich one. Do you remember the Ipswich one with Fissons on the front? John Walk with his greasy hair. Uh, Nottingham Forest, of course, well, with that red with a really pinstripe Labatt's. Uh, that's a stunner. Let me start on the YouTube chat over here on Twitch when we get half the story. To be honest, we are there's there's much more of us over here on Twitch than there is on YouTube. They're missing out on a lot more. <laughs> but I'll try and bring them all together now. So when, when we get more in the YouTube, we'll bring them through. We'll tell people, of course, what's going on. Um, 
but yeah, at the minute we are still the dominant force for, for streaming over on Twitch. So, uh, Buster Net was wearing the French World Cup one. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. That's an absolute stunner. I need to message them and see if that's an original, because if it is, that's worth a fortune. That's an absolute grade A banger of a kit, and it's got the Adidas design down the side here. Let's face it, we need we need a Sam Doria one with a with a lace collar on lace collar. Wolves kits are always nice. They are, especially if they've got Doritos slapped on the front. As well. I think that was the same year that uh, is that is that the same year that, that Fulham had Pizza Hut? And it was like a sort of takeaway off almost. Pedroso. Ottoman. Maybe a little bit overplaying there, possibly. Bring Petralis on, we'll rest up. Uh, and Via Bazakis can come off. He can be replaced by um, Sofrianos has just come in. Oh, that's a nice finish. 2-2. Two -two. Sponsors used to be good. Used to be. Not anymore. I'll tell you when this game went to shit. And sponsors started becoming betting companies. That's a, a crypt, cryptocurrency. What the fuck's a cryptocurrency? You don't get that at the Bureau de Change, do you? Hey, I'll tell you what, Audrey, Audrey, give us 100, 100 quid worth of drachma and give me 50 quid in cryptocurrency, eh? How much is that, then? Best saying sponsor was Draper Tools. With the the blue away shirt with the highlight fleck pattern. Or, of course, just the Hummel. Hummel kit. I'm such a sucker. Stick Hummel on anything, I'd be like, yeah, bring it on. No. Uh, quarantine cyclist or on YouTube just said I'm a bad influence found a mystery box option on football town that's an excellent price <laughs> as long as it's not an England kit I can't go wrong do they do mystery boxes as well oh unbelievable <laughs> we do um, there's a there is a a mystery shirt FM box on surprise shirts if you use the code FM shirt you get 10% off that so you can do that one. Obviously a little biased, but I do like the real Bedford shirts this year. They're lovely. I, I need to have a look. Let's have a look at the real Bedford shirts, shall we? Real Bedford shop. Let's see what shop says. Oh, they're quite we're back. There we go. Right, I think we're back. You might have to re refresh, possibly. Okay, I think it was just, I think it was just a little blip there, game legend. I think we should be okay. Hit the refreshes on your streams, everyone. Yeah. Just means anyone else lost Tony. It says we're refresh not working. Twitch has been like this all day. We should be there. I'm I'm definitely live. I'm definitely here. I'm definitely here. <laughs> I'm just, don't worry, don't worry. I, I I did go, but I am back. Like I'm back. It doesn't look like I've bounced back. I have bounced back. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think we're obviously there must be a couple little gremlins in the uh, in in uh, in the matrix at some point. But we are still here. So thank you very much for for sticking with us. I presume we're still here. I hope we're still here. Let me know if I'm here. Give me a shout. Um, to be fair, while all that's been going on, I forgot we, I forgot we were still playing. <laughs> I forgot that we actually still had a game going on. <laughs> um, we're 3-2 up, by the way. Lagging badly, stopping and starting. Are we? Okay, right. Try, try another refresh on that, Nigel, and see how we, uh, how we get on. 
Um, it was the skull and crossbones. Yeah, exactly. Once you went skull and crossbones, it was a bit, it was a bit grim. So, um, right. Let's just put anything there. Are we any better? Are we? Are we a bit laggy? Are we laggy or not? Hopefully we're not. Safianos with a shot there. All right, I think we're still, I think we're still fine. I've just had to jump onto my stream to have a watch. It looks like we're doing okay, so. I think we're hanging fire. Super Mario with a goal. Oh, you're tempted by the Christmas jumpers. I am as well. I am as well, game legend. There's a couple on there that I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe we do the Christmas jumper run this year. <laughs> Potentially myself and Si might do it. We'll see. Um, but we'll, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't. It's going to be interesting. But, right, I think we're definitely back on. I think we're definitely back on. And 4-2. 4-2 win there. Uh, if I do let you know. Yeah, I think the Newcastle one's pretty good on their game. The Leeds one looks pretty smart. Um, I should show, actually, by the way. Because I can. Cause we can do it now. Because obviously we've already had the, the, the show come out on YouTube. So you know that we get the, so you know that we get the shirt now from... For our, our our friends at Surprise, our friends at Surprise shirts obviously sorted us out, right? But this this was the uh, this was the kit. So we're saying about like this this Wraith Rovers kit, right? It's it's very very pink, isn't it? It's very pink. But look at the detail on it, though. There's like patterns on that inside, which are pretty cool. So that's what we've got. Which is like, it's pretty cool. It's very, very nice. Very nice indeed. All kinds of like madness going on there. Well, yeah, and it's Jorma as well, so it might potentially fit me. <laughs> it might fit. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Code FM show, ten percent off. Welcome, by the way, to everyone who's brand new, joining us for the first time. Hope you're all well. If you are here for the first time, feel free to drop a follow on us. That'd be much appreciated. Um, let's come and join the uh, come and join the Discord as well. Come and hang out. And as we say, do follow the FM show as well if you're not already doing so. Do that. That'd be nice. Right, they want £150 a week. We haven't got £150 a week, sadly. That's the problem. Uh, Matt Blade, there's one of those Christmas jumpers based on the Bergkamp Netherlands top. That sounds that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? That sounds pretty good indeed. There's a lot there's a lot to like about Christmas jumpers with all footballers on. <laughs> and it, it's not normally the sort of things that I would be like thinking of, you know what I mean? But then here I am going... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe we do that. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, apparently we're still <clears throat> apparently we're still up and running on YouTube as well, so that's cool. Christmas kits being extra baggy, of course. Yes, and render. Absolutely. Absolutely. Christmas kits have a little bit of extra on them, don't they? Which of course you do need. You absolutely need that.
Right. So how many games we've still got left then until the season kicks off? So we've still got two, four more friendlies to get through, which is fine. I reckon we could do that tonight. We can definitely get four games in. Then, of course, season kicks off, and then we see what happens from there. I think... I'm going to call it now. I think we might be okay this year. Maybe. We might be lacking a bit of depth. I'll call that now. I'll call that now. I think we're lacking depth. And that could become a problem. Uh, Buzakis is already flagging. So maybe replace him by uh, with Plegas, maybe? No. no, no give, give Stefanios a shout. And then who else is tiring? Left back. We don't have another left back. Maybe we need to get one. Have we got one in the, in the reserves? Any youth players who can play left back? There's one, Savas. Oh, he's not very good, but never mind. He'll be fine. In you come. It's only friendly. Just need to give you a run out, try you out, see how you get on. Okay. Delagianas can be uh, on the bench. Ottoman. Let's rest Ottoman, maybe. Try this guy out, Suma. And Super Mario can be rested. Well, um, yeah. In fact, you know what? I want to see what I don't want to see what these these lone players look like. I want to see what this young kid looks like. Where's our Where's that striker that we saw in here? Vlioras, that's the lad. Go on, pal. Let's see what you can do, shall we? Because these are the people that essentially we need to try and work out. Like, we can't afford to go out and buy loads of players. So what have we got in and amongst our ranks that can that can potentially work? Do you know what I mean? When you say you think you'll be okay, you mean there's enough about Larissa to get promotion? Um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is a bit blind faith, possibly. Monoret, but... I don't think we're in a particularly bad position. I think that... I'd like to think that what we've got is a pretty decent squad. Like, and I'd like to think that we can maybe play decent football and we can get ourselves up there and about. I think we've lost some good players. But I think overall, we've probably replaced slightly better quality. I think Mvia's better than any midfielder that we had previously. I hope, I'd like to think Marcus Yarni's a better goalkeeper than, than the players we've had previously. Um, I think our new right back could be quite interesting, Apostolakis. There's still going to be a question mark over the centre halves, I think, because I don't know if they're quite good enough. So we'll have to see. My target is to get promoted. I'd like to get promoted this year. If not, then it has to be next year. Um, but I think this year is the time to do it because if we don't get promoted this year then I think that some of the players that we've got players like Super Mario, players like Pedroso, players like Ottoman I think they might leave and then at that point we've then got a big job to replace those players granted we can use their wages somewhere else but I think the actual replacing their quality is a, is, is a thing yes I'm Adjo, I can see the chat is working in YouTube appreciate you my man um, thank you for checking up on me um, so I was checking the, uh, the YouTube chat. Just making sure that it's all working fine. So yeah, the, for me, the target is... Oh, what a goal that is. Kunta Ritos, great strike. Actually, he might be able to play up front. Great finish. It's a really, really narrow pitch, this, isn't it? Test, test, test. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Great ball. On the volley. I think, I think that's come off the defender, actually. Twitch is working. Twitch is fine. Um, only one dropout so far. So that's that's fine, right? That's fine. Thought he said something else there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the problem, game legend. His name can get me into a, a bit of trouble if I'm not careful. Um, so we'll have to check. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not the one who's going to get cancelled off that, right? Get off, get some sleep early. Didn't sleep much last night. Worry about the car's MOT. Oh, mate, don't worry about the MOT. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And if it's not fine, then I'm really sorry. I did tell you it was fine. And 
But yeah, take it easy, pal. We'll see you soon. Appreciate you. Ball through, cleared away. Nice ball here. The Postelark has picks it up. Moves it back out. Ninakas all the way back to Marcus Young. He had a bit too much on that, I think. He had a bit too much there. Kuntaritos. Kuntaritis, sorry. Tis, not toss. Oof, off the bar. Sofriano were there. An effort from distance. Sofrianos, I should say. Massive effort from distance. YouTube's got a small delay, apparently, says Sai. That's fine. YouTube can delay away. Oof. Good save there. Pray for the MOT, Quarantine Cycler says on YouTube, by the way. Pray for the MOT. Hope it's not a tale of how the timing belt ruined Christmas. Oh, it's a tale as old as time, that one, isn't it? We've uh, we've all been there for that. So, yeah, those those things, they're not fun. Is that the one you can fix with tights? I don't know, that's the fan belt, isn't it? Good ball in. Pedroso off the post. We're getting into decent positions against this Grantis. We're uh, we're running it. Evening, Notorious PR. Welcome in. How are we? Nice to see you. How's the stream? Welcome in, Raiders. Oof, off the bar. Sax Lamar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as I say, welcome in, everyone. We're doing Build a Nation Greece over here. Hope you're well. We're uh, we're in pre-season. So, I know the stream title says it's the start of season two. It is technically the start of season two. Uh, we haven't quite gone here over there yet. We're just dipping our toes into season two. Uh, Cons Pyro, welcome from Greece. Hey, evening, Cons. Welcome in, sir. Or madam. Hope you're well. Um, nice to see you, of course. And Notorious PRs from Greece as well. Yay, here we go. Kuzan in with a follow. Thank you very much. We're trying to, to build your nation. Uh, Mr. Capitano, welcome in. Nice to see you. Kuzan, of course, is Greek. Also, Bill Apps with a follow. Barcelonista with a follow. Appreciate all X-rays with a follow. Thank you so much. The lot of you, Jim Poo, in as well. Thank you so much. All dropping the follows on there. Notorious Pro also doing the same thing. We'll hit you up some Discord links. Do the Discord there. Jim Poo is from Greece also. Um, Sax Malar. Here we go. Sax Lamar in with a follow as well. Oh, we're building quite a squad here, aren't we, everyone? Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Grab yourselves a, a chair, get a drink, have something to eat. Barcelonista. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello to you too as well. Hope you're good. Um, so we're in the second season of, of, uh, of Greece. And last season at Larissa, Astrodic in with a follow as well. Uh, last season, thank you so much for that, by the way. Uh, last season we finished... Uh, third overall so there's like obviously there's the north and south division um, can any of you speak gr Greek people play striker on the left yeah we need a left back Scott's right we need a left back and um, we also need a uh, centre forward as well is that the YouTube follow sound I don't know I can't I've got all alert sounds turned off on my head so if that has happened um, I'll apologise for that so we'll um We'll hear what's going on. If it is it all? What, what sort of sound is it, George? Describe it to me. Off the line. Oh, gee, we've got some sort of goalkeeper gloves. Yeah, I mean anyone can play goal, of course. Might have been Twitch. Yeah, we, we've had a quiet night on on Twitch with regards to alerts. So maybe it's just that everything's just all hit in at once. Uh, Notorious Pros brought a lot in. Seems to go off after every follow. It should do. Well, it's supposed to. You see, and I don't know whether. It just hasn't, and now it's because OBS is updated. Maybe it sort of went, oh, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to do an alert sound now. So was it loud? I think that's probably the thing I need to work out. If it was loud, I'll obviously try and work out a way of, of making it less so. Um, so it's a bit less distracting, but I'll try, and, uh, I'll try and find out what's going on there. It's quite high-pitched. Harder sound to try and describe. <laughs> We tried. Did it sound like a like a, a pig in on skis, or it was a bit delayed? Okay, I'll have a little. Uh, I'll have a little little listen back. Like a, a rocket launching, but more of a boing. Because it's more. It's meant to just be like a little ping, 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 ping. But I'll have a little listen back. It's like a bell on a spring falling down a well, like a boing, but elongated boing. 
normal sound, but it modulated two octaves up. Oh, I don't know. Kind of between a ping and a bong. I mean, it was good, said Sigurd. Okay. Between us, a boing is a good description. Between us, we'll get there. I'll, I'll have a little listen to it and work it out. As, as I say, there's a bit, there might be a little bit, um, a little bit of, you know, stuff to learn about sort of this whole multi-streaming. Pedrozo, with the gold simulcasting, I believe they call it now, to be honest. Uh, Scott Chapman's in over on YouTube. Hello, Scott. Welcome in. What are they eating? Greek dish of choice. Um, we need to try and work this out. I think everyone's on, on gyros, I think, uh, Sai. But I'm also on the chocolate cake. So Mrs. J's made a lovely chocolate cake for uh, the youngest's birthday last week. So got my uh, I've still got that. Still got that on the go. And we haven't got a trifle yet. There's a trifle in the fridge for tomorrow. It's fine on solo doses, but multi follows seems to screw it. Liam24B, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Please do not be discouraged from following because it makes a noise. <laughs> Salty B's in. Hello, Salty B. Welcome, my man. Here we go. We'll get, we'll get all the followers off Salty's crowd. Even Salty, how are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Big shout out, of course, to my man Salty B, who you all know I love dearly. Um, Oliver Gaming was taken. Football's boring. Tom Fran from Tran. Blech. Tom from Tarn is always scoring. Can you hear the global roaring? Salty is our king. It's a great chant. It's a great chant. Love it. Love it. Salty B, by the way, doing a wonder kids save where you are the wonder kids essentially so i do love i love the concept of it hope you're well my man hope life's treating you good thought you're heading back to the gym gaffer i mean yeah yeah i am dan but it's um yeah i need to be uh you're calling me heavy i know he's calling me uh it's, it's when he saw that that large kappa shirt not actually fit he's like oh all right gaffer you need to uh Lose a little bit. I mean, he's right. He's right, to be honest. Craig F. Nine starts, three subs, ten goals, ten assists for Tom. Wow. Love that. Love that. How we roll Owen, where he wins a game and decides that's when they change formation. Oh, right. Okay, excellent. Excellent. There's some good bits and pieces in there. I like it. Uh, stream was a lot of fun. Have you have you built the nation yet? Oh, of course we've built the nation. Twice. Three times. Four times. Uh, Revolt of the Greeks. Yeah, we're, we're we've destroyed it again, and then we're coming back. He's built well. <laughs> He's built hell. <laughs> yeah, I built hell, and um, I haven't built the ass yet. Well, maybe maybe I have. I don't know, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We're getting there. We're getting there. We we didn't get promoted last season, but that was last season. We've got Jan and Via now, so of course we're gonna, we're gonna get promoted. Uh, Sebastian Mallet related to Timmy Mallet, possibly. Um, what we could do with is we could do with, with some extra players because the players are now like, hang on, we haven't got enough players here. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Good spot. Good spot. They're, they're very, very astute, this lot. Uh, Barbarous is Greek and New Zealander. He, he, he wants money. Michael Ruse finishing 5 to 13, first touch. 100 quid a week, that feels expensive as well. Papadopoulos, six foot two. Plays for under 19s. Don't know anything about him, but I mean, six foot two and called Papadopoulos. That's good enough for me, right? He's built the IKEA version of the Trojan horse. <laughs> you know what? That's a brilliant description because it's not a million miles off, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <clears throat> I like that. That's fine. That's fine. This is the little version. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we we can all we can all scoff. We can all scoff, <laughs> and, and we should we should all scoff. To be honest, there's a lot that's gone wrong uh, in this nation. Still boxed with Japanese instructions. We're trying. We're definitely trying. Um, just playing catch up on the uh, the YouTube chat. By the way, the uh, the love for Mrs. J's chocolate cake is going down well. They've not got any, by the way, just in case all you Twitch people are like, hang on, they've, they've got cake. No, 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 no. They've, they've seen the cake and they like it. So they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that cake looks good. Obviously, they don't get priority on the cake. You get priority on cake because you've been here all the time. They're new. 
Yeah. yeah. Thought you were about to just say Mrs. J. No, no, yeah, no, they don't get priority on Mrs. J. Um, in fact, neither do you lot, to be honest. <laughs> no, 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 I, I do. I do. Fake stream. <laughs> this looks like a normal stream. I wonder what's happening now. Uh, well, yeah, there is. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've just got to do this little thing. Oh, well. It, how surprising. This happens to me all the time. Um, there we go. This is taking a dark turn. I mean, it was many turns, many turns. Back to sending all the Greek, Greek 21 year olds and below. I think that's what we have to do, Zetha. Just It's all about numbers, isn't it? Get players in. As long as we can get players in, that theoretically is, is depth, right? Because that's what they're talking about. They're not happy with the management. They want to talk about squad depth. So, I mean, it was Jan and Veer who brought it up, to be honest. To YouTube for cake, everyone. No, 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 there's not cake. I'll, look, cake's here. I've got cake here, right? Yeah, look, see? Cake and a trifle. So, you you try telling me what's, you know, what what's more important. Yeah? You try. You try. But, um, but yeah, in answer to the uh, question about my size, then yeah, I probably do need to get back to the gym, if I'm honest. I feel like I've put my Christmas weight on now, <laughs> already, and therefore whatever Christmas weight I put on is going to be too much, really. Henrik Dalsgaard. All these players are out of contract, so we can't, as much as we'd like to sign them, it's actually worse trying to sign them because it's just not really ideal. Because they're going to cost money, including the sign-on fees, which we don't have. Um, Sai Maggio, biscuits, takes cakes, trifles, is Mrs. J a feeder? Mrs. J is a great baker, is what she is. She's a great baker. But I've been putting Christmas weight on for 10 years. I feel that's where I am at the minute, to be honest. Anyone else had the issue where you have a must respond and go to chat with a player? But I've nothing to say and you can't continue. Seems like you can't leave the chat with them. Um, I've not actually seen that, to be honest, Dan. I had the one where... Uh, I had the one where we turned up and it wasn't so much a bug, but we just had nothing to say at the end of the season. We went, see you, lads. And they went, yeah, all right, cool. Bye, gaffer. Have a nice holiday. Which was, was lovely. Start the diet on the 1st of January. Yeah, I mean, that seems that seems the, the easiest way to do it, doesn't it? Everyone's going to do that. So maybe I'll start it before then. Trick everyone. Start it now. She's my, she is a master baker. Absolutely. Here I am, claiming to be from the northeast, and I'd say the word like master. I had a good moment actually last night. So we, we did comedy we did comedy for what feels like the first time in God knows how long. And um Ooh, Pantalikos. Pantil Panteolikos. Want to sign Vleoras. Now it's not very much money, is it? Four grand. I think we keep him for now. I know we want to try and build this nation up, but we want to keep him for now, surely. He's our youth product. He's our only striker. Chairman looking to step aside. So that's not a takeover, is it? That's just a changing of the guard, essentially. So let's see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Change my mystery shirts to triple XL in advance. Oh, thanks, Sai. That's that's really, really kind of you. Thank you. I'm getting grief on YouTube here. You know what I mean? Uh, but I've said, Sai, that your um, your your package has arrived. See, has turned up. Sai's a very very lovely man. Very lovely man. Um, let's check. Uh, it's oh, squad. It's squad number time. It's the best time in everyone's life, isn't it? So, Marcus Gianni can have number one, obviously. Uh, Luffy gets some... 
hydration going on. Good shout, Luffy. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, indeed. Dino, you know you've got a challenge on when the club you join mid-season in season one to try and save them from relegation. That's two strikers. Their squad numbers are two and three. Welcome to my saving Bulgaria Division 2. Yes. I love that. I love that. I'm all for dodgy squad numbers. You lot would kick off about it if I was like, oh, let's let's give our striker number five. You'd be like, no, no, not at all. Because I'd find it funny. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Yan and Via gets number four, don't he? It's been promoted to League One with Tranmere, yes. Talk us through these squad numbers. Oh, it's all, <clears throat> it's all a bit. <coughs> I don't think there's any real, real plan behind any of this, Dean. Um, Part of me was tempted to mix the right back and the left back up. So you got a number two and number three, but then again, that would just be anger. So I'm going to try and go with roughly the players that I think are going to be first teamers are going to get the, the, the main numbers. But after that, it's a little bit of a free for all, to be honest. Not everyone's going to get a number either because you don't really need everyone to have a number. But we'll try and keep it relatively close to. Um, I don't really want two threes in a, in a back in the defence. So there we go. Right, sorted. Squad numbers done. Anyone born pre two thousand gets the year they were born. Yes, exactly, exactly. So league top goal scorer odds: Pedroso four to one. Give the lad with a preference the one he wants. He's he wanted number ten, but he's only like eighteen or something. He's no, he's not even really, really been into the pro in the squad. Plus, Kamini wanted number one, and we gave him number 99. Actually, maybe that explains why he was bad last year. Um, Mr. Maggio's uh, checking up here. I say, don't dox yourself. Quarantine cyclists, not jump the gun, but when you win the big league title, episode title suggestion should be on brand. Take him to the Greek title. Could do that. Then NFL introduced a zero shirt number this season. That'd be pretty fun. Do they get annoyed about squad numbers? They used to. Sometimes they do, Si. Sometimes they do. Um, hopefully not anymore. Hopefully not anymore. There's bigger problems in the world, isn't there, than whether you've got the right squad number on. That's that's why I'd like these players to understand. But at the end of the day, they're footballers. And as we know, footballers tend to be dicks. So all sorts of issues can happen. You know? Let's just... Let's hope that... Between us, we can we can get this working. Um, should of course pop the uh, the link back again there for um, man and size football shirt show. We've already done the FM show a few times, so put the football shirt show out there. Football shirt social, it's called. So us versus Apollon Sim Simernus Simernus maybe. Kuntaratos, Raitis, and Via Savas whips it in. Shirts there. Oh, look at that. Rujo's already done us a command. Oh, and Sofianos with a goal. Great strike. I tell you what, YouTube haven't even got emotes. We have. Get out there. They might have, I'm not sure. Get the trifles out. Oh, Cheval. Love how some, uh, how some big. I love how big some of the stadiums are. They are massive. Absolutely massive. And un unnecessarily big. <laughs> because there's just like, there's no one comes to the games. There are like 300,000 seater. Tomalidis. Playing it back inside. Try and keep the shape. Definitely no corruption involved at all. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All contracts awarded fair and square. Yeah. Um, I 
actually, I just thought I need to. Uh... Sorry, let me just ping this across to to Simaj on YouTube. There, so I have a check of that. It's the Diego Yardell shirt that we were talking about earlier. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's the one we've got in our chat. Dan Reese, that's what she said. There we go. There we go. Now we're now we're talking, Dan. Now we're talking. Kate Westwood, by the way, appreciate the follow. Very kind. Thank you for that. Sorry I missed it at the time, but yeah, welcome, welcome along. Welcome along. Welcome to be part of the squad. So the plan is, if you are brand new, we usually stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Um, but because obviously, so two reasons. So because it's the new game, of course, we're trying to stream as much as we possibly can to get the momentum going because we're trying to build a nation. So we want to try and get a bit of a head on ourselves, give ourselves something really. We don't want to be sort of like four weeks in and still being like sort of in season two. So we managed to get a season done in the first week, which is great. Um, Pedrozo's not it wide. So yeah, so we normally do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so if you do want to drop a follow, feel free to do so. Um, come and hang out. It's quite a nice little chilled out place to be. Discord again is pretty much the same. FM show comes out on a Wednesday. Football shirt social comes out on a Monday. So there's always something to talk about when we're on stream. And very, very rarely talk about football, actually. That's the thing we probably should say as well. That's not the sort of thing that we tend to talk about on stream. So, you know, you sometimes get people coming and going, oh my God, have you seen blah, 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 blah. And we're just, I'm just like, nah, not seen it. No idea about it, mate. Sorry. Um, that's a bit of a bit of an error there. I mean, defender's got to make the tackle. He's got to go for it. But fair play to the striker, actually, does it? So. Right. Let's get a couple of chains on the go, shall we? Ottoman back in for Somme. I mean, this is the guy that wanted the number 10 shirt. This guy here, Aaron Geger. So, should we try him out? Aggression 20, leadership 13. Okay. Right. Yeah, maybe we should actually try him. Go on, mate, you do that. You go and have a go. You go and have a go. Come on, we'll bring, we'll bring Kuntaritas off. On you go, pal. Have that one. Uh, let's bring bring Plegas on for Envia. Left back can come on. David Hennon. Should we get David Hennon on? Go on. Give that a go. Right. And then Apostolakas can come off for Milligas, who again is just a young kid. Try him out as well. See how these lads get on. It's just minutes at this point, isn't it? Just trying to get them a bit of game time, see if they're any good. If they are, great. If they're not, quarantine cyclists should put a vote on whether we win or not. Uh, yeah, do do a poll now, cyclist in uh, on YouTube. Do a poll. <laughs> the answer is yes, right? I'm trying to learn like YouTube chat at the same time. It's difficult. It's much easier over here. Intercepted. Chrysopoulos. Out to Ottoman. Sofianos. Milligas. Ottoman. Back inside. Cuts it through. Milligas. Ottoman. Goes for it. Pulls it back. Free kick. Free kick. That's fine. We can take that. Ball's played in, headed away. It's almost too many players in the middle, aren't there? Margas with a header. Got Super Mario can come on for Pedroso. Um, and. So Buzakis can come on for Savanios as well. I know he's playing well, but. Let's rest him up. Evening Z80, nice to see you, pal. Hope you're good. Oh, 
pull through, clear the way. It's not, it's not a penalty. It's never going to be a penalty. At least it shouldn't be anyway. You can never tell, can you? You can never tell. Bazookas. Oh! Oh, oh! What a goal that would have been. That that was pretty much that was Gega with the effort there. From the edge of the box. That would have been like, yeah, that's why I wanted the number ten. Oof. Just over the top. They would have been that would have been a great goal. Ottoman. Pumps it in, headed away. Just over the top. So we I mean look, again we're 15 shots, four on target. We need to work on our chance uh, conversion. We need to start doing some actually focused training, I think, for the players. Henning gives the ball away. Good challenge back. By Gegas, I think. Oh dear. What we need to also do is focus training on not giving the ball away. So that's Henning not getting a contract. Maybe not the striker we want. Yeah. Delgenidis. Hennen. Okay, fair enough. He scored. I think he's offside. Yeah, offside. That's why we didn't celebrate. Clear the way. Super Mario brings it out. Giving away again. Marcus Gianni claims it. Quickly rolled out. Could maybe have afforded to take, the, take a little bit of time with that one, but... Especially now that we've slowed the game back down to let them regroup. Bazookas. Decent ball out. Gega. Gega in for Hennen. Oh, off the post. Bazookas off the defender. Bazookas. Can't quite get the ball through. You know what's going to end up happening? Gega's going to end up being mint, isn't he? Ottoman. Ottoman. Hennen over the top into the into the uh, the prison car park. Zalunas up over the top. Wolf almost missed the head. Did he miss that header? I think he did. I don't think he nodded back to the goalkeeper. Delgianis, Gega. Gives the ball away. Win it back though. Delgianidis. Gega. Great ball. Super Mario. Header. Keeper saves it. Bazookas. Gega. Bazookas, Hennen. Milligas, Bazookas. Oh! Keep with the save. I mean, we're, we're playing with them here at this point, aren't we? We're toying with them. But we still have to try and score, though. Hennen again, losing the ball. Let's go a bit more direct. push on a bit more as well the thing is well we are actually kind of in the same time with them two one down you, you know what i mean though you know what i mean oh Cheval? like we yeah no anyway, we're, we're level now we're level autumn with the goal <laughs> like I'm, I'm looking at this from a from a pre-season perspective of going right you know attacking wise we're looking pretty good like what am i what am i learning from this is that we need to be doing focused training on chance conversion I mean, am I going to do that? Probably not, but you know what I mean? Like, Performance-wise, performance is decent. The result's not brilliant. Cleared away now. Here's Super Mario. Back inside. Bazookas. Out to Delganidis. Oh! Oh! Pick that one out! There we go. That's what we're saying. You see... Eventually, eventually they've buckled. What a strike. What a strike that is. Delgenidis runs for it, smacks it in with his right foot. 
bang. 3-2. We've come back. And I know it's only a friendly, but Black Dragon already on the phone to the monsters going, look, this Jameson lad, he's all right. In TJ we trust. Hennen. Oh, hang on. Defenders missed that. Ottoman. Plegas just watches it. Boots the fella up the air, though. Milligas. Bazookas. Ottoman. Guy's still down. Super Mario off the bar. Kerasidis is down. Potentially with really badly bad injury. We've just been like playing on. Just going, oh, it's none of our concern. Gap, uh, ref. Bazookas. Ninikas, Milligas. Monsters go crazy in every goal. We we need to see the uh, we need to see the scenes. We need to see the pyro. Evening Chion, how are we, pal? How's the save going so far? Save's going well, thank you. Well we're we're in the second season just about. We've got like one more preseason game to go, I think, maybe. And then we start the first league game of the season. And recruitment's been pretty decent in the fact that we have enough players for the start of the season. Because at one point we had four. And two of them were goalkeepers. So, so the fact we have 11 players now is is a bonus. Oh, Gega! <laughs> of course it's Gega. Of course, I'm going to regret not giving him the number 10 jersey, aren't I? Gega's going to be the, the absolute star of the save. Great finish. Great finish. What number he's got? He's got number 23. That's my jersey, though. I, I, I like a number 23. A number 23 or an 80. Yeah. All right, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Oh, Hennen with a goal as well. Uh, scored right on the time. And I think Hennen's now treated himself to a new VPN. So, And you can treat yourself to a VPN as well for £19 by clicking that link. Um, great finish, though. Great finish. Smashes it through. Great stop. 5-2. So we were toying with them. When I said we were toying with them, we were. And eventually they've just... They've just they have to just concede defeat, you know. So. Good ball at the top. Straight at the keeper, sadly. Not a problem. It's the Larissa last dance, is it? Leg ass. Intercepts. Away we go. There you go, perfect, perfect, 5-2. That's what we're talking about, isn't it? We're about to find out that there's like a third, yeah, 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 they're not, they're not a real team. Uh, third division side, we beat them in the second half, which is fine. That's what we want, it's just like all about getting a bit of morale going now. Two more, two more friendly games, Oracleus and Volos. And then we've got a cup game to play. So pre-season's been handy, mind. We've, we've done okay. We've done okay. Um, yeah, I think left-back seems to still be the one, doesn't it? Left-back and up front. We need a striker. Not that we can afford either of them. But right, here we go. Here's the left-back. Kutsias is coming in, not paying anything for him. He's come in from. Where's he coming from? Panat Panakia Panak Panakia Panak. I don't know. I don't know why I'm in Greece. I can't. I can't pronounce half of the of the team names. Um, unhappy at loan spots and wasting a player that will never be good enough. I mean, they might be right. You know, they might be right. But it's another body in there, isn't it? That's all it is. And if he gets recalled, he gets recalled. That's not a problem. Super League Top Player Awards. 
suggestions already going to be that it's going to be Jan and Beer as the star of the season. So we will see. See how that plays out, of course. So we're going to play Heraklis and then Volos. So basically, teams that are going to be in our division, I believe. And Volos in our division as well. Yeah, Volos and Heraklis. So this will give us a bit of an idea as to where we are. Hopefully, hopefully we're there or thereabouts. Yeah. Transfer window closes in a couple of days. Have we managed to strengthen the squad sufficiently? That's always going to be a question, isn't it? It's always going to be a question. Bonus is fine. Maybe could have given them a higher bonus for winning the league, possibly, but let's let's keep it as it is for now. Uh, let's put this defender in, actually, in place of Ninikas. Ninikas is only a, a youngster. Um... Dejiandas can come back in as well. Uh, Kolovetsios is born here in Larissa. He's a good player. Oh, okay. We still got him in the uh, in the side, have we? Is he one of the youngsters, or is he actually someone else who's playing in 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 world football, in Greek football? I should say so. Kolovetsios. This guy here, like he looks good actually. Like all, oh, like even, even on the couple of things we can see, he's like, yeah, he might be all right. Kolovetsios, Dimitris, yeah, that is him. Yeah, and Stavros as well as the other, the other youngster there. Um. Bring that Sumer off. Put Ottoman on. Vloras can come out for um, Super Mario. Vloras can go on the bench. Ninikas is. He can stay off for a little bit, to be honest. Let's put this Sukas on there. Andre Ayu, we're not really fussed about, to be honest, so we might actually cancel his loan. Uh, Giorgio is back, so he can come on the bench as well. Let's put him in. Yeah, let's do both centre half then. Change that up. Um, actually, he might even be a ball player, so you can actually. I know we don't really want him there because he's. he's Jumping reach of nine, but he might be able to do something. Buzakas, we can put in for uh, Sofianos as well. Um, right, let's go with that because I think that's probably going to be our starting 11. I think. Wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Um, take it easy, quarantine cyclists. Nice to have you in. I um, hope you've enjoyed the first, the first YouTube stream. Um, yeah. Do keep your eyes peeled because we'll be back on tomorrow as well. So, yeah, you take care of yourself, buddy. Thank you, George. Hydrates indeed. So Black Dragon, here's a question. What what do we need to do to be a monster? Oof. Can we can we can we be friends with the monsters? Do you reckon? 
Corners in, cleared away. Got to close down, tackled, gone. What was that view at the end of the stadium? <laughs> si, I've got no idea what that uh, that roof shot was, but it's good, wasn't it? Piss pass. Piss pass. What a name that is. Goal for Heraclus. <clears throat> Maybe we need to do a little bit more uh, set-piece training, I think. <coughs> Drink five litres of Metaxa and fight three demons. Yeah. That's, that's definitely the uh, the way into the monster's piss patch partridge. <laughs> Love that chunder. Pleasure to see you, pal. Welcome in. What a perfect, perfect way of getting back in there. You're getting the roof shot as well. It's nice. Cannon beer. Delgenidis inside. That's for Super Mario. Needs someone up there to give it a clean. I think so. Pedroso puts it wide. Yeah, there's like a roof shot as just as the as the game. There's like the sort of cut screens on there. George. The camera pans over the roof. It's a bit weird. Um, if you live in the city of Larissa, you support Larissa. No fans of big teams. That's not allowed. I love that. I love that. Oof, good save. So is there a is there a club anthem that we need to learn, or like a like a chant, or do you play do you play like a piece of music like for the players to come out to, or like at the end of the match, or which I think we, if we can we can try and find that we can maybe play that as well. Ottoman good ball in Super Mario. <laughs> Glad we kept him. Glad we kept him. Imagine if we if we didn't. You know. Imagine what I'd have to do. It'd be rubbish, wouldn't it? City is proud to support the only local team. I like that. I like that. It's a bit like odd. I get I get the feeling that they're quite similar to odd. Um Can't seem to get a 10 to work. But for me, or for you, George. An actual proper number ten. I don't know. I don't think I've played with one this year actually. So I can't quite work out where they'd fit. Shadow Striker doesn't quite seem to have the same uh, gravitas as as previous years. Um, it's a bit of an issue when you've not got any wingers. Maybe then yeah, there could be that. Just keep playing how you're playing, lads. The result will come. Let me find the monsters, believe. Giving the ball away. Come on, Ottoman. You do better than that. Much better than that. Bazookas with the corner. Pull in and Super Mario again with a header. Almost, almost. That close, that close. Bazookas. Ottoman inside. Delgenidis. Oh, he's not going to get past this. Is it piss pass? Piss pass power is brilliant. That was so funny. Um, let's put Gagger on. See how he see how he goes for it. So I got the feeling. I think I brought. I, I thought I was playing Gagger, and I don't think I was. So God knows who's been playing that position. Oof. Or whether they're even meant to play that position. But Gegger's on now. Let's let, let's see him score, shall we? And Via. Gegger. Giorgio and Via. 
shows you up. Oh, look at this, lovely football. Gega picks it up. How did you choose this particular club? Uh, to be honest, Incheon, it was a recommendation from FN Lama, who he knows everything. Like, he's like the Dalai Lama. And we were looking for a team in Greece because the idea of this save was going to be build a nation Turkey, build a nation Czech, or build a nation Greece. And I'm going to be honest, Greece was... At first, Greece was the, the, the third option for me. I thought Turkey was going to be the obvious one because of, because of Bursa Sport. I was like, we'll do Bursa Sport, it'd be great. But then Czech seemed like it might have been fun. And I'd never considered Greece. And then the more we looked into it, the more we started to like have a look around the league structure and stuff and the rules. We're like, right, okay, cool. Like Greece seems pretty fun. Like, what are the teams? Who can we who can we look at? And then Lama was like, well, look, there's a team called Larissa. Formerly won the championship. They're now in Division 2. Their fans are pretty cool. Like, that's right up your street. And I was like, had a bit of a look about. Then we saw who like who used to play for them, and we're like, and we sort of went, yeah, like Larissa straight away. That was we were sold there and then on the save, and it was we were sold on Greece and we were sold on Larissa in exactly the same moment. And, it was like, and we just went, yeah, yeah, got to do that now, got to do it. And then we spent so long waiting for <laughs> for uh, for FM twenty four to come out because we were like. Let's, can we just can we just go, please? Can we just have the game now? Because <clears throat> because we're ready, we're ready. We know what club we want. We know what the challenge is going to be. We know what the save is going to be. Just just want to get it done now. And uh, and yeah, thankfully, like I hope the wait's been worth it. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be. You know. As in Akas has uh, requested a transfer. Interesting. Oh, Maz, Maz, Kan Maz Kanakas. I still have to try and uh, work on these pronunciations a little bit. I think. I don't. I don't know if we're going to bring anybody in by now, unless unless we can find another striker. If we can get a, if we can get a striker and that's not going to cost us anything, we'll uh, we'll do some business. But if not, I think the uh, I think the window's going to slam shut. Yeah, Pantelidis, no wage contribution. Problem is, is I'm guessing that they're going to say that he's not actually good enough. C plus. selfish dreads, dreads big matches question is have we got any big matches maybe maybe not we don't know Tom Waddington I mean Pinakas would be good but not for free. We're well, not for not for two hundred and fifty quid a, week, a month. We haven't got that money, sadly. No, I think we might. I think we might end up going into the, into the season with the squad we've got. So, not the worst position to be in. I'm fairly happy with what we are. Obviously, I'd like a little bit more depth, personally. We're playing Docker Dramas in the uh, third round of the Cup. <clears throat> you couldn't see that stadium behind my head, by the way, but... Look at that. That's a, that's a ground right there, isn't it? That's a ground. That's not a stadium. That's a ground. Here we go, Volos now. So let's let's give Gegger a go. 
out wide because he's uh, I think he's ready to go. He's been chomping at the bit. Let's try him. Yeah. Looks like it should have chariots racing around it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the that's the shot there, sorry, George, with the uh, the roof over the top, which I've just then skipped past. Sadly. <clears throat> Oh dear. In off the underside of the bar? Yeah. Not much you can do there, I think. Uh, downbeat up. Welcome, welcome. How's the first season go? First season went fine. <coughs> so, excuse me. So first season went fine, to be honest. We finished second in our part of the division, so second in the North Division. We would have been second. We were in third overall, to be honest, if, the, if it was a full league which of course it is this season um we're expected fifth oh jesus that's a dreadful goal to concede this is pre-season so we're not stressing too much but what's apostol arcos doing here god dreadful um yeah so we finished finished second in the north division third overall um and then a lot of our players wanted to leave which was a bit worrying. So we had to do a bit of a rebuild. We lost 17 players in pre-season. End of the season, we lost 17 players. And then we brought in 10, I think. So, I mean, 3-0 down after seven minutes. What on earth are we doing here? <clears throat> I think we need to change stuff up a little bit but I don't know if you can shout that much in a, in the first seven minutes this is not really the uh, the last the last friendly that we want is it you know what I mean not down Super Mario with a save Zookis. Oof. Clear the way. Doxa Drama was a major team in the Super League once. Okay. I take it they've fallen from grace a little bit then, yeah? Bazookas. Nice back. Gega! I thought he was going to smash on the top corner there. I brought my 13 match losing streak with a goalless draw. Yes, <laughs> ZD. Celebrate it like a win, right? Celebrate it like a win. M Render. Dra Dockers, Docks of Drama. I love proper pies and bovril. Oh, 100%. 100%. Like, I wonder what the food of Greek, of Greek non league is. Like, is this like, is like a guy, Hyros and, uh, is it Hyros or Gyros? Gyros and Uzo. So, pretty poor first half, I think it's fair to say. Um, <laughs> three nil down. I mean, there's, there's nothing we can even take from this to be like, hey, you know what? At least it's not that bad. It is that bad. It's it's really bad. Yeah. Be be better. Be better, everyone. Take some of the big name players off as well so they don't get really angry and downhearted for the league match. That's just the cup match next. It's... Doxa drama next, so 
in the sense it's maybe not the uh will that help will that do do damage do you reckon to morale it's hard to tell isn't it there's one in the office of the coffee stand if you give her an extra quid and a wink she'll slip you some ooze on your americano oh here we go and you get a four finger kick cat that's not a euphemism by the way get with the effort blocked Zucas Pedroso. Three nil down. We've not even looked like we've been doing them. If anything, we've just been like, do we have to go back out in the second half? Really? I'm going to stay here where it's warm. Super Mario Pedroso. Three one. No, it's not. It's offside. We don't deserve nice things. Not in this match, anyway. Oof. Headed over the top. Team's going to react positive. I think so as well. I reckon so. I reckon there's no way they can't be motivated off the back of this they've got to be like you know what yeah we're, we're, we're going for this we're doing this properly if they're losing the cup then can't we can't lose in the cup <laughs> surely we can't lose in the cup this quickly that would be horrific it's going to be fine don't think don't think negative Tony it's going to be okay it's going to be absolutely all right. So, bring Bazookas off for Sifanos. Gekka can come off for Nino. The only English word they know is pride, which then translates to fuck. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. This has been, to be fair, give after the first seven minutes, the rest was fine. <laughs> it was the opening seven minutes that was horrific. You know, we we won, we won the other bit. The rest of them, the other the other, you know, eighty-three minutes, not bad, nil-nil actually. Are oh, then Barca kits? Asks Sai. I think yeah, maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe they've sent Barcelona instead, and we've been. We've had to play them, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, stuff them, stuff them. You know what I mean? Like Volos. Interesting thing is, is where they they expected to, to finish. That's the interesting thing. Oh, so they're up with us, essentially. Right, okay. Heraclis down there. They got relegated last year, so fine. Okay, fine. So that's not... I mean, it is pretty bad that we lost 3-0 but you know if, if it's a case of right well you know they are going to be um, you know if they're going to be up there or thereabouts as well then okay fine cool no worries let's think about that shall we at least we know they're up there or thereabouts or just Nikas. Back to live with the Yeah, good luck with that one. Pantelidis. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that the fans are going to, do you reckon the club's going to kick off if we bring this guy in? Composure, five. He's gone. It's not, not, not doing it. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Get rid of him. Don't need him. 
I'd rather not have a striker if that's the situation. Liavas. I don't think we've got the money for, sadly. Because we haven't got any money, sadly. Do we need the midfielder? We could technically bring him in. But you know what? I'm tempted to just go for another cent for another forward. We should have gone for him actually rather than one of the other centre backs we've gone for. Um yeah, well then. Let's try for Penacus. On a pay's wage of 60 quid a week, get in. Absolutely we'll pay that. And Dimitras as well. That's, there we go. No wage contribution. Excellent. Right. Deadline's approach and we can get players for cheaper now. Perfect. Man's no bravery. Exactly. Get rid of him. Leavas is in. So we might have to slightly overspend, I reckon, to get where we need to get to, but that'll be all right, won't it? Got a couple of uh, loans in. There we go. Right, I think we're done. Carlos Camini's injured for seven weeks. <laughs> Excellent. So there's, there's the goalkeeper's gone. Yeah. So at the minute as well, we've only got two non-EU players, which is pretty handy. So we're trying to build. We're trying to build a nation of predominantly Greek players as well. Which I think is the right way to do it. Yeah. So transfer window is closed. We haven't brought the most players. Most players out. Volos six. We we. Unless, of course, ours come from last season, maybe. If I have most players in, Aliakos, 22. And Vera and Ottoman, yeah, keep them the same. Larissa, takeover rumours. I mean, that, that could change the save pretty quickly, couldn't it? If there end up being a takeover in there, so... Hopefully there isn't. Well, I don't know. Hopefully there isn't. Hopefully there is. If there is, I hope they keep us. That'll be that'll be the uh, the thing I'd be hoping for. Going, yeah, you know, be great is if we can stay. So let's see what happens then with uh, Doxa, Doxa Dramas in the cup. Jan and V is upset we didn't strengthen the side at left back. Well. We've got some more left backs in. Granted, they're not the best left backs, but we'll get. I'll get you a left back. I'll get you a left back next season. Yeah. We'll have to try and get him a left back. Don't wait to find them. Do they grow on trees? Maybe. Pinacas can come on. Dalmitras. So let's bring Gegger out. You know what? Do we keep Gegger in? Play, um, play Dalmitras up front. Play Pinacas up front as well. Mix them around. Super Mario can be off. Lavias can be play instead of Envia because he's a bit upset. So I don't want to anger him more by saying, right, now you've got to go out and play against some uh young some you know non-league team. So let's do that then. Okay. So cup game can begin, and then we play against Kavala. 
in the league. So that's the opening league match as well. Okay, so here we go then. Right, what are we thinking? Are we gonna are we expecting a win in the cup? Or are we thinking this is gonna backfire horrendously and we're gonna be done for? I'm hoping for a win. I think we should be okay. I think we sh I think we should be okay. But then again. Give them a ten. I've already taken it off him, haven't I? When was he born? 2008. You can have number 80. Or is it actually is the number eight there? Number eight's free. You can have number eight. There you go. Start with a win. Yeah, I think start with a win sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Elias, Lavias. Pinacas. And Dalmit, Dalmitras. Okay, let's do it then. Let's have it. Let's get that first win of the season in the cup and we're away from home as well so we are in the uh, I'll just you know in the, uh, in the in the old Coliseum Dalmatras picks the ball up Gega Del Genidis. down the line great cross in this stadium looks class actually by the way I'm, I'm a big fan of it seeing that and I'm like oh that that's my that's my kind of stadium you know well intercepted Dalgenidis comes in for it look at that no roof one tier stand it's great isn't it low level camera bit bit of a bit of you know dusky um, sunset perfect trusting my director of football for transfers come on Eric Dyer yes that's exactly what's going to happen, Alexander. Pulled it back, headed away. <clears throat> Apostolakis, Dalmitras, Apostolakis, Dalmitras, Ottoman, Pinakas, Bazookas, over the top. This is this is more like it, isn't it? Getting in at teams. Oh, ball's played back inside now. There's a massive gap there. Wallace and Nem. Oh, good save by Marcus Jani. We how we let them happen get down the side there, I've got no idea. Massive space down there on that uh, left wing back position. Well, we tidy that one up nicely. Again, no shots on target. All the ball though, 64%. Of encouragement, I think. They're playing 4 3 3. We're 4 4 2, obviously. We might have to go 4 2 4, maybe push a bit more. Lucas Mazzetti. Slow ball over the top. Big long ball at the top. Let's keep with the save, is it? Corner. Maybe we might have to drop the line a little bit. Can't afford another one of those over the top balls. Reyes. Good challenge. Apostolakis. Goes to ground. You've got to, be, got to win the ball in that situation. And he gets it again. Nice. Let's just keep our uh, drop off a bit for the defensive line, I think. Well, that player's now injured. Let's go a bit more direct. Force the line up. We'll drop that line. So then there's a bit more gap in the middle, in the middle of the pitch. Four shots, none on target. That's that's worrying. I know we've not got our first choice strikers in, but we need to start hitting the target. Yeah. These these two guys have come in on loan. 
Pinnacas and Dalmatras. Balls at the top. Pinnacas chasing it down. Galadis picks the ball back up, though. So Gega's on the yellow. So I have to bring him off for uh, Kuntaritos. And you know what? Pinnacas for Super Mario. And Dalmatras for Pedroso. Let's change them over. Bazookas. Lips the corner in. Heads over the top. Close them down. Yes, we can. Pedroza wins it, but we do lose it back, though. Mazzetti. Castidas. Mazzetti thinks about launching it over the top. I think we've managed to drop back enough to give them less ideas of pinging it over the top. Ottoman Pedroza. Super Mario's through. Tackled. Kutanitis. Wilson then picks it back up. The Arvas is away. Back inside. Delgin eat this over the top. <clears throat> the Aldis. Nodded down. Ottoman. Ottoman pings it through. Super Mario off the post. <laughs> Come on, boys. We need to be able to just, yeah. You know, let's have that quality show, right? Nicely intercepted by Apostle Arcus. Ottoman. Oh. Kuntaritos straight at the keeper. I mean, we, uh, Sent half not playing particularly brilliantly. Kuntaritos back inside. Super Mario. Pedroso. Ottoman. Offside. We did the hard bit. We did the hard bit. Postalakis picks it up. Bazikas. Launches it. Super Mario looks around. Pedrozo can't get there. Bazookas. Kuntanikas. No VAR. Delganidis. Can't get the ball through. Intercepted. Ottoman. Pedrozo. Super Mario. <laughs> Just drags it wide. Try to work out what to change because it's kind of like that's what I said before about like oh. no <laughs> what the hell happened there I was trying to say like oh there's nothing we can like we don't really need to change anything we're playing really well how much space has you got there's the box oh no oh we weren't expecting that Look, like every, everyone's the thing is, everyone's rating is pretty good. Everyone's on like six, eight, six, nine. Um, fair enough. We're gonna have to go for. We're gonna have to go for it. Sefanios oh, saved. Bazookas. Super Mario heads over the top. <laughs> Take it easy, game legend. Appreciate you, buddy. See you soon, man. Thank you for stopping by tonight. Genuinely appreciate it. 
in a sense, we don't need the cup. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way we can, we can look at this. We don't need the cup. Yeah. But it's not the best way to start, is it? Inside. Rolled him. Picks it back up. Pedroso. Ottoman. You've got to be kidding me. 14 shots, one on target. What on earth are our strikers playing at? Unbelievable. Safianos. Super Mario! Keep that flag down, keep the flag down. No! How? How have we... <sighs> Ottoman. Mario's offside again, surely. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. And we've just given the ball away. This is very FM. It is a little bit, Tom, yeah. It's the cup. It's the cup. We don't need... We don't need anything else. Jaffa's in with a follow. Jason Captain's in with a follow. And my word, that was not good enough. We should have won that. And now the players are, players are angry. <laughs> we still love it. Yeah, of course we love it. Of course we love it. It's just one of, those, one of those matches, isn't it? We can focus on the league now. We don't need to worry about looking around with cup games. Where does that uh old board take over in process now? We'll see. We'll see what happens here, shall we? I don't know whether we're gonna whether that'll happen or not, but actually what's the final so how badly are we over? Oh, we're not that badly over. Only a little bit. Yeah. Right, we're taking on Kavala. I haven't really got time to do any any training to sort of say, you know, maybe maybe try and uh, and and hit the target occasionally. But let's jump back into our first team. Let's put the first team in then, right? Working from that, because again, we should have had enough to win. We should have had enough to win that game. Should have. Gegas coming off. Uzikas. Lavia played, Lavas played, played pretty well. To be fair, they all played pretty well. Apart from one of the centre backs who was on a four. Actually, Lavia's can play at centre back. Interesting. That is interesting, actually. League two is going better for me now. Games feel like a proper test as well. Yeah, like it's good in it when you get to that level where things do actually feel like you can, you can feel the difference in the game. Um, That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Get this goalkeeper registered as well. This is the joy of, of Greece as well. 99 person squad. So, just keep adding players in. Bring them up from the reserves all the time. So, right, first league match of the season then. Let's, I can't even play, he's too young. Great, injured goalkeeper on the bench. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Let's go. We've got this. We have to do well. We have to do well here. Okay. Let's make it happen. Us versus Cavalier. Pump fists. We owe them after the last time. Here we go, everyone. First league match of the season. Okay. We're in crimson. Cavalier in blue. Let's have it. And Via's back in. Pedroso's back in. Super Mario's back in. Kutanaritos is back in. Dino reckons 4 0 winning coming. I love how optimistic you are, Dean. Oof. 
watching tactics develop as you go from expected top to playoffs to avoid relegation to last place. Yeah, you need to tweak it all, tweak it all the way through. It's the hope that kills you, um, Render. Still some seats available. I, I thought they'd have gone. I thought they'd have gone early. Didn't know if you could pay on the door. This will be the last time that'll happen, though. Not by the end of the season, they'll be... They'll be selling season tickets. Good ball in. Keeper gets it. Ah, stress in beer. Degrees near small, uh, need a special small font for shirt names. Yeah, maybe they do actually. Room to grow the fan base. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Ottomans through. Save. Kind of play for Kevin. It must be 20 letters long. <laughs> like, imagine paying by letter for the name and number of the shirt. It costs like £85,000 for a shirt. Maybe that's why the uh, maybe that's why the Larissa Club Shop closed. No one can actually afford to buy a shirt. But Black Dragon, if, if there's one, if there's a shirt going around, we'll we'll be in, we'll be interested. Bazookas! You can get, get one in a large. That'd be nice. I'm gonna call him Athan. Or Nathan. Head away. Oof. Just over. Ottoman free kick deflects over as well. Okay. So Doxa Dramas are beating Diagoras. Are they actually in our league? They are, they're in our division. Ottoman. Okay, so we weren't so we weren't actually beaten by a non-league side then. Which is what I thought. Pedrozo picks it up. Back inside. Ottoman. Pedrozo. Oh. Bazookis. Ottoman. Interceptor. Giorgio can't get there. He's running a bit slow against Gekas. Won it back though. Via Giorgio Bazookas Liavas up to Ottoman Pedrozo. I sw I've switched him and Super Mario around as well, by the way. It's Pedrozo. Oh. So I'm thinking that them two are keep having to like, move on to their favoured foot, so I figured if I change them, then that might actually work better. Maybe right foot on the right side, left foot on the left side. That's probably the right way to do it, I'm guessing. A bit more encouragement, maybe. Balls on the top. Marcus Gianni collects it. That's what we want. Just lie on top of it. Smother it. Liavis. Ottoman. Charges forward. And Via. Pedrozo inside. Oh... Even the, even the rebound isn't falling to us. So maybe maybe we do need to do a little bit of a little bit of finishing training. I think eight shots, six on target. Though at least we're making the keep make saves this time. Apostolakis, Liavis, Apostolakis, great ball over. Kuntuitis, Giorgio. Oof, decent effort from Bazookas. But again, it's an effort from distance, though. Ottoman. Whips it in. Keeper comes and collects. Let's try and float some crosses in rather than working the ball in the box. See if that's going to help. 75% possession. We, we're having... The, we, it's a free kick for them. We know what's happening now, don't we? Oof. Somehow, somehow, <laughs> we managed to just get away. 
Um, but yeah, we, we, we knew what was going on there. Um, right. Nine shots, seven on target, 74% possession. We have been by far the better side and the players don't agree. Great. Great. Let's go a bit more direct. Um, push on a bit as well. Apostolarchus is tiring, so is Bazookas as well. So might need to make some changes. XG, I tell you what, Monret. XG, if we've got that, we've got something, right? 1.25, that, that just means we're creating good chances, doesn't it? So, as long as we can get in and make those chances, we should be fine. Bring Petralis on, actually. Bazookas is tiring a bit. Ottoman gives the ball away. Oh, Via picks it up. Pedrozo. Kunteritis. Good ball. Ottoman. Oh. The ball's come down nicely for him. He's, he's all set to go. And then smashes it. Smashes it wide. Time to find the Greek Harland. I think that would be a good a good idea, wouldn't it? Petralis. Ottoman. I think that lad that we saw from Mali. Pedrozo. I think the lad we saw from Mali, if we can get him in, in December. That that's the play. That's the striker. Get the trifles out, everyone. First league goal of the season for Pedrozo. Ottoman. Lays it in. Pedrozo comes from deep. Drills it past the keeper. That's what we want. 1-0. Need the goalkeeper and everyone to be a bit clued up next, though, because the ball's coming over the top. We don't want that. We don't want that. Nice intercepted. Super Mario. Ottoman. Oh, straight at the keeper. To be fair, the, uh, the the way that the highlight looked, it looked like the ball was being uh, it looked like the keeper was getting quite a position, but doesn't look like it in the end. And Via tackled on the edge of the area. I think we're a little bit too attacking at this point as well. We might have to drop ourselves back down a smidge. Nice intercepted. Good ball at the top. Pedrozo. Oof, opened his body up nicely. Yeah, I think our lines are a little bit too high, so let's just tweak that a bit. Left wing back. We haven't got another left wing back, that's the problem. Ottoman's tiring, so let's bring him off for... Um, uh, Pinnacast, maybe? Yeah, let's see what Pinnacast can do. And I think Pedrozo's done well, so I'm tempted to bring him off for Dalamitras. Oh, Dalamitri can go up front. Ten minutes to go. Are we going to get our first win of the season? Let's go, Monsters. Exactly. Monsters going to be happy with this, right? 1 0 win. Liavas stands over the free kick. Oof! Decent effort. Decent effort. Corner kick comes in, and Via headed away. Clear away again. Come on, boys. Don't let this one slip now. Don't let this one slip now. Oof, got it away. 
counter-attack, maybe? Not something? Nah. It's not really coming anything, sadly. It's fine. Let's just see this one out. Nothing silly, boys. Nothing silly. Yeah, just try and be smart. in Super Mario clear the way good tackle good tackle there's the area oh Delamitri offside what a finish that was though great ball over the top arcs his run but yeah he is offside great finish at the near post though that suggests he might have something about himself. Might. You can never fully tell though, can you? Petralis. Kuntaritos. Via. Petralis wins the free kick. I enjoy the music. I must recommend DJ Sabrina, the teenage DJ Via. <laughs> I think I need to do that. We've got a win. 17 shots, 11 on target. XG of 2.82. Possession 69%. That, that is what we were hoping for. That's the kind of performance we need. Good football. Keep the ball. You know, create chances. Ultimately get the win as well. That looks it, doesn't it? That's it. You're happy with that? Kavlar's a tricky team involved in lots of scandals. Right, well, in that case, I'm glad we beat them. I'm glad we've beaten them. Yeah? Don't want to be uh, losing to a team that's got scandals. So, no thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's good then. We've got ourselves our first victory. Very happy. Uh, next up is... Oh, I I I Iliopoli? Iliopoli? So, got them next, which I think is going to be... Tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to call it a night here, I think. I appreciate everyone who's been in, by the way. It's been great fun. Really, really enjoyed it. Loads and loads of followers in, of course. And then a couple of nice little raids as well. Uh, a lot of Greek people have joined as well, which is fantastic. So I uh, appreciate all of that. What I think we'll do, though, is let's go and find someone to send everything over to. And you know what? I think we haven't seen... Right, we haven't seen Dimez... Uh, in FM24 we did raid him quite early doors for um, FM23 when he's brand new so yeah there's loads of you in there go and give him some love okay um, crowds us out appreciate the follow as well there's loads of you in there go and give Dimez a follow uh, he's got a Portuguese save on the go at the minute now so I'm sure you're going to enjoy it and um, thank you of course everyone by the way for, uh, for tonight it's been great Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Speak to you all in a bit, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Bye now.